We here, y'all. We in this bish. Just gotta make sure we're actually in it, you know. There, there we go. It looks like we kind of we're actually in there. Yep, we are. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yo, this is the NBA 2K Goat Dynasty. All right, man. Uh, we're a couple of seasons in actually, so this is not like super accurate rosters, but we we not playing anything. We just watch it. Okay, so let's. Already, we're a couple games into the season. Uh, we had uh, Celtics beat the Nets. Clippers actually managed to beat the Warriors. Um, here we had yeah, the Bulls beat the Hornets. Uh, I said the Pistons with a surprising loss to Magic. Mavs and Hawks, two teams that, to keep an eye out for as we go along. And then uh, 76ers just destroying the Grizzlies, which is good for the Sixers. I think both of these teams were... Well, the Grizzlies weren't in the playoffs last year. Um, but like I feel like I sh they should have been. It's such a young, talented, athletic team. Um, and then uh, Spurs crushed the Knicks. Now we have Miami Heat versus the Milwaukee Bucks. And let's take a look at the starting lineups here. We have... Oh, oh wait, wait. We can't do that. Heat. Go here. It's always a little weird if you do it that. I don't know why, but uh, so we got Tyler Hero, D Wade, LeBron James, Bam Adebayo, and then the uh, guy they drafted a couple years ago, Alex Gardner, is getting the start over Alonzo Mourning. For the Bucks, you got Sidney Moncrief, Ray Allen, Oscar Robertson, Giannis, and Kareem. Oscar's probably gonna be in for a night, right? LeBron's gonna eat. He's gonna get his. Um, I think you gotta know that coming into it. But if you're the Bucks, you gotta take advantage of the size that you have down low. And you got to just punish them. And then when they start to finally adjust, that's when you kick it to Sydney, to Ray Allen. Because they're quick. They got quick releases, right? Um, but you, you're on the road. Miami Heat, both of these teams were, were playoff bound. They faced each other in the playoffs in the previous season. And the Bucks won the series. So you know that Miami's been looking forward to opening night at home, facing the Bucks. You know, they, they've been preparing for this for... A long, long time. They've had it marked on the calendars. Ooh, Ray Allen. Ooh, getting open off of a little screen there. Way with a with the assist there, he took a two, but yeah, yeah. If I'm here, yo, yeah, take Giannis on Bam all day, and and have him stress him from deep. That's the thing. Can't get him in the block. Bam can, can probably guard him in the block, but when Giannis has to come out like that, and then you get to blow by him, Giannis has the low by speed for sure. What do we got here? Oh, LeBron. LeBron, he going to eat. You look at him. He's just bullying. Just absolutely bullying Oscar Robertson. But that, and that's expected to happen. Oscar's a, really a point, right? We moved him to small forward because of his size and his play style. He's really more of a point forward, but he doesn't have what it, I mean, nobody really has what it takes to guard LeBron in this league consistently. So, you know he's going to eat, but as the Bucks, you got to... You gotta force it to be him. You know what I'm saying? You gotta don't can't try to close in on him. Or maybe switch even like this with Giannis on him, cause cause you know Oscar can guard other people. So maybe the switch is actually what they need. And now Yeah, now they're in a little trouble here. And look at Ray Allen open on the screen. That's a bucket. Ooh. So fresh and so clean, clean. Uh, 
All right, he's he's getting sent to the line. Yeah, D Wade. I mean, he's gonna get his reps at the line. I think yeah, if you're Miami Heat, right? You got Dwayne Wade, uh, LeBron. You know, Bam. Hey, throw some oops up there, man. Try to get yourself to the line. That's what I'm trying to do. LeBron. Oh, sorry, LeBron. D Wade. Two for two there at the line, as expected. Let me let me let me audio test. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, audio's coming through. Oh, we got it. Hold up. Wait a second. A fader on the way. Watch out, Wizards. And Milwaukee will come the other right, way. See, I'm glad we did the audio test. Now you guys can actually hear the game. Abdul Jabbar. This is the Moncrief. Back to Abdul Jabbar. Almost. Yeah, there we go. Up. Okay. You're not going to see that very <laughs> often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he lifts on that. Hero, no there good. we Got go. Got to the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an right, easy task. Up. 8 5 right now. We'll see what the rotation is. Like. I think this Miami Heat team is actually the deeper team. Because even though Kareem and Giannis are big and they have that huge advantage down low, I don't think that they have it when they when they, they, when they when the defense is focused on you that much. You're the Heat, man. You got to take advantage of the depth you got. To find the and really let LeBron eat, bro. LeBron should have this ball every time down up and down the court. Right here, and a kick. Oh, oh, but they he didn't kick. Why didn't LeBron? That's LeBron's MO. Oh, see, who almost. If Tyler would have jumped, you know, he would have had him on that. Oh, okay. Good, man. Good, actually. Good call for a pump fake there. If he would have jumped, man, he'd have been sent to the next planet. He you know? it the way. There's the pass to James. And of course, we are only watching the first two ways. And oh, so Miami nice. again turning it over. And Bella Dane, hey, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good, Bella. Doing pretty Here's good. Milwaukee now. Uh, <laughs> how about line. yourself? Feeds to Allen. I'm Stolen by Wade. Strong feeling. <laughs> this is gonna be. It's gonna be one of two things. It's gonna happen. Pass to Hero. Oh, oh, and his mouth. Oh. That lacks an ace of her closeout by Sidney Moncrief. We want all some love to hear it. Love to hear it on a Wednesday. Monday. Oh, oh, what a bump fake! But, but, he, but he went the direction and he faked. Oh, oh, what a block! What a block! Oh wow, he had it, he had it. and now Ray Allen free up the screen again. They're killing him on that play. Oh wow, do you play some other games as well? Oh yeah, we play we play 2K, we play Madden, we play uh, Rainbow Six Siege, Halo, uh, Minecraft, uh, <laughs> Rocket League, anything we want to play. We'll be playing here soon. Um, can I get a follow back? LeBron. Yes, you can. No good. You can get a follow, right a follow back to stay right now. I'm so bad at this. That there we go. Oh, perfect. Okay. I should be following you back right now. Looks like you do art for people. Someone else also followed me that does art for people. Their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been I'm not going to lie. You know what? Here's the thing. I love my logo the way it is. And I love the branding the way it is. But it is... I did make it myself. And I made it... Um, I made it purposely have... Uh, a, a little bit of blur like the orange and the letters I made it purposely have a little bit of blur because I kind of wanted to have like a neon glow effect but to do that I basically just kind of made it fuzzy right and so um so I, I like if I wanted to put my logo on something like I was looking at doing merch whenever I'm like you know I'm dreaming big right whenever we get to the point where we're doing merch 
I can't actually do merch with the current logos because of the image is too blurred. Is there a way you can get me this, like this logo I have, right, with the, with the, with the, with the white, with the orange MF that kind of has that, the closeness together, like the M and the F are like fused together. I love it. Just so it is. Could you get me that, but with more quality? And could I, and could you also, is it possible, if there's anyone out there watching this, is it possible I could get multiple variations of that, right? A blue background with white lettering, a white background with, with red lettering, and black background with orange lettering, whatever, right? Um, kind of like how my, my banner is, I would love something like that if I could get that with quality. Like, here's the thing as well, I made that logo on such a, like an old, old device. And then I ended up selling the device, and I cleared the device, but I never actually imported the stuff over. So I don't actually even have the original image. Um, so, it, so yeah, yeah. A lot of the last couple of streams I've done, people have hit me up for logos, and I've said no, but because I would like my branding the way it is. But if it's possible for me to give me same logo, mornings check in for the heat, but just with more quality, like like how it. When you when you see it, how it's blurry, you know, kind of like like a little like the orange is kind of blurry. If you can get me that, but just like crisper, with more quality, that would be fantastic. Both shots good from the strike. I was going for like a neon glow effect. Bucks leading by six. But Robertson passes. And I'm and I'm going to pay for it too. Money's no well, money is. <laughs> don't get it twisted. Robertson outside. Money's definitely an object, but. I really don't have anything else to spend on. So. Other than my wife. But she doesn't watch this. She doesn't know I'm talking about it, guys. She don't know. She's at book club right now. Okay? <laughs> my dog's ticked, too. <laughs> Some of my friends can't even pick her up. Some dogs are here with me. Ooh, Ooh I like that. A little post fade right there. But now we're gonna start seeing. Make that shot. We're gonna see, oh, Ray Allen! Oh, what the quick trigger! They are embarrassing. Now look to establish the perimeter. They are embarrassing. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. Hero finds way. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna let D win. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you got. Oh, you definitely do have a mismatch there. Give it to Wade. Have him just abuse Ray Allen. And, and actually, if you do that, you probably get Ray Allen in some foul trouble. Then you kind of take away the Bucks outside, right? So you're kind of doing yourself a favor on both ends of the floor if you attack him like that. Oh, oh. Oh, say. Robert in his mouth. Couldn't get it to go. Oh, wait. LeBron was subbed out of some Is he in foul trouble? Was LeBron in foul trouble? That was deep, deep. Kobe Brown, though. A solid the backup for the Brown. Oh, D Wade. The Brown off the floor might actually be a good thing for this point. I mean, he's a Bucks got to call a timeout. Big group. Now I think we're going to see the full swap come in. So both teams making some changes here. How about your heat versus this group? Let's pick one. Winners. All right, so for the books, we got winners. Bob Damage, I do believe. Uh, Marquise Johnson there. Marquez, however, Mar Marquez, Marquez, whatever. Um, I think you have uh, is it? I can't remember who's in there, but I know um, Cummings is in there. I can't remember who is at the shooting guard here. Oh, wow. Man. Um. For the Heat, though, you have Alonzo Morning. Jimmy Butler's actually playing with four. And then you have, uh, ooh, Warren Richards. 
Oh, and, the uh, and then who else do you have? On a ridiculous so offensive we actually, we actually that do dunk have. alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley oop. Miami Heat have actually done. Uh, oh, oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Uh, oh, they got uh, Tyron Cooper Dyke. This close in, he knows uh, he's got the shot. Who now here is Bird. It is going to be promising. For his first bucket in this one. Point guard, right wing. Or maybe he's shooter, or whatever fluffy he is. Winners misses. Point guard, point guard. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Dishes who the, heck the, the Bucks have? I think his name's like Okan. One thirty-seven left in the first quarter. Unique or something. Maybe, no, 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 it's, uh, I think it's the work. He dropped a step back. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Let's see, we got. Oh. Uh, There's 126 left some. here in the first quarter. Passes it to Johnson. Over Butler. A shot by Johnson, no good. The Heat trail by five. Twitter. Some X misses. Outside, All right. Um. Morning with the screen. What do we got? Oh, and the oh what a dunk! Well, the pick and roll game of Jimmy Butler gets better every year. He has a better and better understanding. If you're watching this on YouTube, yes, you're daily. This is not live. This happened yesterday. Oh, we are streaming everything on Twitch. Link is in the description. All right. Why go to Twitch? Why go to Twitch? You ask. Well, um, simple. You won't be a day late. You will get to see it with everyone else. Uh, <laughs> you know. But of course, all the short form content, all of the, the shorts that we get and all this stuff, it's still gonna be up on YouTube. And I get most of the people that watch my channel watch. So. Here's the screen. Oh, look at that. My, oh, I thought he hit that. I thought he nailed that one. By five. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock. Last, and game. Oh, oh, in no time at all. he got that off the dribble. And everything. Six. This guy can do so this much. Gonna the the this has to be the last end. shot. That is That's why number gets this is just a one second difference between shot and clock and game. So, if I'm them, yeah, I take it up. I call maybe a screen here. Since you're up on the six on the shot yeah, there clock. There you go. Come over. He, he's way too deep. Now Alonzo Morning, he's got to do us yet. And that's not going to go. The right. They're going to go in uh, down eight and somehow be up six by the end of it all. Um, let's see here. They made three points of it up in the second quarter. So still down, you know, five points at half. Uh, still down. Three points into the fourth. So this is a close game through and through until the fourth quarter came where, I mean, look at the, the free throw differential. That's really what killed them. And when you look at the total game, yeah, look at that. I mean, they they made 10 more free throws than the Bucks even attempted. So, I mean, that's that's huge, right? Forget The Bucks went 51% from three, killed them from outside. But that doesn't... And, and, Shot is not like they just did it on a look like they should 39 threes. They made 20 of them. Okay. In a difference of eight three pointers made for the game, they absolutely killed them. But where the heat was able to make it back up was in free throws, forcing the issue at the line. And also look at the rebounding differential, the extra possessions from offensive rebounds, securing and, and stopping extra possessions on the defensive rebounds. It doesn't matter that the Bucks got the slightly better passing game and that their bench did a slightly better job. Miami had more second chance points. They had more fast break points. I mean, you're talking about a six point game. Eight of the points are fast break points, and probably, and probably as a result from free throws from getting fouled on the fast break. So, I mean, yeah, this is you know that that's where it all is right there. Let's take a look at the box scores here. Ray Allen had 21 on him, 15 in the first quarter. After that, he kind of fizzled. Uh, Giannis had 21 on him as well with three steals, two blocks, which is elite. Um, Sydney had 13 assists, which is very elite. Um, but then after that, I mean, everybody, like, what is Kareem doing here? Three of 12, Kareem? You can't go three of 12. 
right? Kareem and Giannis are the blood, the heart, the soul of this team. You can't go three of 12, okay? And I'm not saying you can't just score nine points. Go three of five. Don't go three of 12. Kick it out, do something, but don't shoot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're going to go three of 12, uh, because, I mean, especially when you have guys off the bench going perfect two of two and, like, Oscar having solid numbers, like, shooting percentages. Why aren't you kicking it to him? You know, he had multiple seals. He had a good game. I, I did have LeBron guard him, so I get that. Um, but, I mean, everyone else had, had decent, you know, decent percentages, bro, and and some decent stats. And then Kareem goes out and goes 3 of 12. You know, it's... it's it's a rough one. And, and I could get on Marquis or Marcus or whatever Johnson for five of eleven, but he went four of six from on the arc. You know, and then I almost guarantee you look at the free throws. Kareem only went to the line once. You know, you when you're when you guys are the, the big guys and you're the, the, the enforcers down low, you gotta be that. Right? If you're gonna miss a shot, get fouled missing it. All right. But uh LeBron being LeBron, 26 points, eight rebounds, which is elite in this league. Um, only the top like 20 rebounders in the league average eight or more rebounds a game. So to get eight, he's elite. Uh, six assists, four steals, which is crazy. Um, Tyler had 20 plus points. Um, Jimmy Butler had multiple steals. D Wade had 12 assists and only one turnover. Uh, Alex had two blocks, which is elite. Alonzo Morning had 11 rebounds. Bam had two steals and eight rebounds, which is both elite. So, yeah, just top to bottom, these guys were just, even if they weren't scoring points, they were doing everything else they needed to do, and that's, that's really what won the game. And actually, I want to, I can probably guarantee you as well, like we talk about the free throws that were the big difference maker. Sure, LeBron had a killer stat line, didn't get to the free throw line not once. Tyler Hero, though, <laughs> D Wade. Alonzo Morning, those were the three guys that had the big game. So, you know, that, it, hey, the Heat were looking forward to that. You know, opening game at home against a team that eliminated you from the playoffs. You know, it's got to be a sweet victory right there. We watch everybody's first game, and then after that, uh, we try to do like like games, like percentages, stuff like that. Uh, so we we'll watch a lot of games in the, in the beginning of the season. And then we'll probably watch a lot of games near the end that are kind of playoffish Terminators. Most of the middle of the season ends up getting Sam. Um, <clears throat> Raptors versus the Pacers. Uh, let's take a look at these teams, man. The Raptors are young, athletic. They seem to always go to the playoffs and seem to always be a bottom seed, you know, five, six, seven, eight, but seem to always get to the second round. Uh, this last season, they didn't. They they got eliminated by the Bulls, but they took them to a, a, a six game series, um, and the Bulls ended up winning it all. By the way, so I mean they get eliminated by the champs. Just no, no knock on the Raptors. They're a young team, super athletic. Tracy McGrady's actually playing the point, and he's adapted that pretty well over the past few seasons, right? Um, but you got Kirk Logan, you got uh, Bargnani, uh, two big beefy boys down low. The Pacers, on the other hand, very Small ball, right? Mel Daniels is a little undersized for center. Paul George is playing the four. Reggie Miller has been moved to the three. And then Cason Wallace and Lewis Bosch are the one and two. Um, so, you know, very small ball. And then even coming off the bench, they're, they're playing arguably even smaller. So, yeah. Um, they're a team that, to be honest, now that I'm looking at it, because when I did the drafting, um, I did the drafting. I think we ended up drafting. Well, because look, they have Boosie and Oladipo and Granger and O'Neal and uh, Sabonis. But it's like they, the people that we drafted, Russ Webster, he's a, basically a bust, you know, a small forward. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's, he's not getting really any, any playing time um, this season. But uh, hopefully they can get some good drafts in the upcoming seasons and get rid of him. Uh, let's let's oh, oh, oh got it got to go here though. Malik 
this we'll let this thing go so happy to have you here for a mid Got it. every time i don't know why week edition of the out. nba on 2k sports this should be an intriguing contest alongside richard jefferson and grant hill i'm brian anderson we'll be joined by ali laforce courtside we'll see the indiana pacers and the toronto raptors and now the indiana pacers starters just five on the clock yeah chase mcgrady was what six nine <laughs> and it's good as he <laughs> sends uh, it right through the net point guard i think no and six nine center both teams have so. legit offensive talent and if everything goes <laughs> to plan this could be a very That's, fun matchup uh, to watch point. here's george uh, and oh, he got oh, the whistle oh. on the way up so he'll be headed to the line whistle. right there Going to the line too. It's just so Look at that big feet. I mean, George oh, can beat you with length, with skill, and very intelligence. That's good from George. George hits them go. both. And it's but if I'm the Pacers here, though, I mean, like him at the line. realistically, very rarely see a miss. you're playing small ball. Use that speed to your to your end, and also. Here's McGrady. Carter on the uh, wing. Oh. Gets Ooh. the three to fall. Yeah, you said speed to your advantage. Get into a but also, I mean, you know, utilize the fact that you and have. just about a minute into this first quarter. And mm. Bosch gets it to go. Shooters Man, this all is over. just fun. These teams One through are trading five. threes back they, and forth. He's four. asking all oh, shoot. This is today's NBA. Right? Hey, we Set see this three. kind of exchange more the often the than not. You know, well, well, here's Carter. Leonard yeah. outside. You know, play the old three is greater than two. Yes. And it's Leonard with the assist uh, that time. Over you know, his career, Kawhi has become a willing passer. Yeah, go out One there of his many done. improvements since being drafted right. in 2011. And that's that's my mind. Here's George. Pacers here. From the arc. That, that, Pure. A weak screen. Three that, point they don't even need a strong screen. That's George has got All five. These guys are killer this shooters. team looks shooters to him to everything. score the ball. They feel good uh, when he's taking so the yeah, shots. Press up on him. Here's Carter. Behind the arc. Let him take the long two. This is going to start your game. Your game. Everything is like a And you just got to come down and make your possessions count. Pass the ball, Here get the first good movement. With about two minutes and gone by. Take the three, you know. Here's Wallace, right wing. Look at Here's that, Miller. look at that, look at that pass out three. Yeah, Reggie Miller, what am I telling you, man? You can really stroke it from deep. You have you to keep better really tabs on him. Deep. This is such a weird thing to say. <laughs> it's such a weird thing to say. Kawhi, kick out to Carter. To They're going to go right back at you. Oh, Ooh, but see, Vince so don't got Indiana it. Will take it the other like way. Reggie do. And that miss makes them four of five. Oh, Reggie's going to pop it on him right now. Oh, my. He drops it from range. Starting the first season we did this, the uh, Pacers were actually kind of close. The first season, yeah, when he gets right. engaged, this they had this cheeky little play that, that they were doing the where they were running these, so they were running the these double you screens. Like they had a the point guard at the top. At the scoring breakdown for they were Indiana. running off the, off the block. They had the two big men screening. And Reggie and, and, uh, and Reggie was playing shooting guard. And, uh, Paul George is playing small forward at the time, and they were cutting across, like, like back door, and then cutting across back the big men again, and cutting, cutting up sharp, and they both be and like wide open no good. on screens, In and the basically the point guard had his choice of who he wanted to pass it to, and they, it was guaranteed three every and time down the first floor three minutes in. Uh, until teams finally got George. used to stopping that. The shot no good, and Toronto but, it, but they were the they were it. their first year. Oh, I mean, Here's they were like Bargani. one win away from making the playoffs, I think. McGrady. But obviously, they didn't get a great hit. So, they ended up getting Casey oh, yeah. Wallace, who, uh, who Lewis Bosch. Uh, First quarter of action, Wallace, just under three and a half minutes played. Uh, for some of them tiring as well. With the drive. Who ended up being solid picks for him, you know, starters, but. Here's Daniels. You know, He's checked by really Carter. Daniels misses. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's oh, oh, that's Kawhi. That's a ton. by Leonard. The hands of Kawhi are huge. And they help him palm the ball. So you know, you got to face the walls back to the ball. Oh, look at Bosch stepping up for the three. He has six. I like that. Look, These man, teams he's have really gone back and forth. Yeah. Point. Five lead changes already. A little already. short. This he, one's going to be a battle for sure. Dig, look at him. Oh, man. Here's McGrady. Oh, Tracy. Use the pick up and over. Like he got all 
the way to the rim. Indiana trailing here. Here's Bosch. He has six. Pass to Wallace. Oh, really He's deep Wallace three point the range. Bam! And again, it's the yeah, they're killing him. Oh, kill my. Him. The air is thin from out there, but I'll tell you what, he's got deep range. Carter from outside. Like the racer's trying, trying to return the favor, but he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Look at him. Ooh. Ooh. Out of bounds. Oh, out of bounds. Oh, why would you do that? He kind of did have to shook a little bit, though, not going to lie. Here's McGrady. He's got five. Oh, Tracy. Oh, that's a <laughs> Lewis Bosch knew he was shit, bro. He knew he was done. He's, he's, he took that stumble, and he didn't even bother to get back up on D because he knew it. Even if he did put some effort in, oh, look at that kick. Oh, I'm, well, actually, you know what? I can't really fret because, man, it's Carter. What? So it's Toronto now. But, uh, yeah, Lewis Bosch, man, he, he took that stumble, and he was like, I might as well just let him shoot from mid range and statistically, you know, because if I let him blow by me trying to recover, then I'm going to let him more stupid. He had to head in with that last day's quick day. Alright, he had one here. And yeah, look at the mid range points and the points in the paint. That's, that's how this Raptors team eats, especially on a small team. Pacers. Pacers. Here's Wallace. E? Oh, Wallace, you gotta, you gotta pull the trigger. Bro. On the shot clock. Drains the triple. PG-13, he's gonna pull that trigger. <laughs> and this is what makes Georgia star. Ain't nothing PG-13 about his game. He gonna pull it. Catch. He gonna pull it all night. He gonna come up off the lap. With the oh, and makes it with the you kiss. Know? Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid <laughs> to get in the paint <laughs> and get wet. Please. Fantastic replay look, look we just big saw beefy. of the mobile one Her drive. Bug. Yeah, taking the nice, onus easy, on himself play. to yeah, make something happen. Shoulder to the, Got it the into the teeth there. of the defense and made them pay. Mel Daniels though. Uh, oh, he can get shifty. Oh, Mel Daniels. Triple, even though he is on the side. The Raptors for the lead. Uh, was the season leader in rebounds. Um, Every season, the first, I think, two Here's seasons, three. three seasons, we did this until last year. And uh, Victor Poignana, with a smooth jumper and unwavering confidence, Leonard's he actually consistently convert in down to the middle. He's still second, a full second. Um, so, I mean, yeah, he averages like nine rebounds a game. He's, he's getting the boards for sure. Toronto on D. Here's Miller. Oh, that's that was, there's no in the <laughs> say if he hit that, that just would have been disrespectful. Oh, the <laughs> offense has been on point. <laughs> they have great timing and great communication. So hard to get stops against them. Here's McGrady. That would have just been there. He's got seven. Shot clock like at six. Using that size. Miller oh, wow. pulls it in. That's the shot I think he got wanted. scared because the, the heads on the double team. to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. Oh, they actually got the matchup they want here. Releases. Uh, oh. Here's Wallace. Pass to Daniels. Oh, perfect. And look at Mel. He's going to take the shot the and make it. It's a long two. Goes. Not a three. Early, but you have to wonder if these offenses but Just him being able to make that from out there. There will be some let down at some point. But these Defense. teams, they are built to score. So. It's stress. Nice jump shot. Ooh, in his face. He was fully committed. Surprised he didn't get fouled, actually. That's how tight the George was. Fires the three. He didn't give a fluff. The Look at him. Now he's just trading. George has got 11. Pick works well there. The Pacers the are literally on the end of yeah, their that just comes down to a lot three point shooting. The defender has to do a just the number of threes they put the up. The number of Here's attempts they've taken. Look at this. I mean, he's just out. toying with him now. He honestly could have just put that up on him. Lewis. Lewis Bosch was not. Pass to Wallace. He was not going to stop that. Throws it up high. No way. Oh, oh say that's defensive a, play. Uh, first of all, it's a lot. Secondly, it seemed. Now here's Leonard. Oops. Usually, in my experience in watching the sim, oops usually come out. They, they usually look real Beyond smooth. Beyond the arc. Oh, Rebound by Bosch. Oh, we're the Raptors, man. You just gotta slow it down. Here's George. You gotta. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, yeah, Paul George did not see that coming in. Yeah, I'm talking this with the oops look like. Yeah, the oops come out of nowhere. They look so smooth. And the Pacers call time here. And the Pacers, and the yeah, right for the zone. Call the time out. Getting some fluids that, in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh, keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of Absolutely. gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the that's finish, that's a fence quarter, too. To be he like windmill. Now we got the back Yeah, they're like, yeah, the tune swap. And here are the Pacers now. Guys, <laughs> oh, by four. After that. The only bad thing about the Pacers is that they don't have any depth. Fades. Right? They don't have yep, all shooters in the starting five. Assistant. Done. Pretty much shooters. Uh, here's Benji. You got Victor on the depot. Here's Whitehead. Sinks it. What Ooh, that's down deep. Down. From Derek Whitehead. From the Reek. By it, how do we pronounce it? Pass to O'Neal. Oh, look at that steal from Chris Bosch. He was a starter last season, coming off the bench this season. Stoudemire, Bosch. We know we can make that shot, but the defense was a white. What's the name? Scotty. Scotty something there. And even honestly, even the other dude, oh, dude that just Scotty Barnes. There we go. Three point play. But even the other dude, what's his name? He's a new guy they just drafted this year. He like, really? That's a foul? Really? The unique skill set Sabonis no, possesses is what? really what? outstanding. This man is a versatile scorer, a talented rebounder, and is an exceptional passer also. Pass to bar. And the Raptors, another Ooh. three. The defense really fell Start apart there. Away now. You can't afford to leave them all alone at the yard. Here's O'Neal. Tony Burke. And it's Whitehead with a rebound. Is, They've been just a little I bit better him. on the glass so far, showing <laughs> their tremendous work ethic. Yeah, that's somebody else. I don't know who Outside he Barnes. He's good enough to be a second. Three. The back of center. Ooh. the Raptors, another three. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. Now the Raptors are killing them from three. Oladipo outside. Oh, see, if you Oladipo, you got to take that shot. Because Sabonis is in. I mean, oh, okay, you know what? I'm going to just keep my mouth shut. This is high octane. This is a lot of He's here. good at gutting through 40 contact. points from pace. And that was our AT&T. The base is 160 points scored. Bringing you the sauce. And he Ooh. dunks it. What a pass to Sabonis. More action. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. 172 nice. points would be. Yeah, you like to pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay. They okay. score this much up before. Oh, 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 no, great. Oh, no, wait, any Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Pass to Barnes. And here is Morris. And it's off from three-point range. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Here's Boosie. There's the three. Boosie. That's how you pronounce it. with the rebound. I was going to say Two yes. second difference between shot and game clock. But it's Boosie. Morris with it. I got a bit of a mouse in constipation here. Oh. Here's oh. Stoudemire. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's okay, likely to change. Take this to, to the quarter and here. And he lobs it up to the rim. Oh! Box, no good. <laughs> that would have been the sick. spectacular and coming up empty. And, and now you give, you're giving these guys an extra shot. Needs to be on this if he had made that, that would have been something. All right, up five. Can they? Can they finish? Can they finish strong at home? Pull out the dub. Yes, they do. Up nine, so it's probably a close game. Pretty well. No, they were up fifteen to fourteen at, at half. Oh, but then they gave up eight. So yeah, it kind of was a close game through and through. To to finish, up nine. Um, both of these teams going over 50% from beyond the arc. Both of these teams, similar free throw numbers. The Pacers actually shot a better percentage, um, which is what made that similar. The, uh, the rebound totals, you know, Pacers have more offensive rebounds, but the Raptors have more defensive rebounds. You know, rebound numbers are about the same. Um, 
turnovers are really about the same. Uh, you know, I think what, what really comes down to is just the percentages inside the arc, right? An abysmal 43% for the Pacers, whereas the Raptors were an elite 57%, um, you know, an extra five buckets from inside the arc. When you put that in retrospect of, of, you know, that cancels out the two, you know, the extra two free throws or, or the extra two three-pointers, it cancels out, um, you know, the, the, the two turnovers, like the extra two possessions you know, when you're doing that. So, you know, good on them. Uh, Paul George dropped 22 and had five seals, playing his heart out, right? Louis Bosch, five of six from beyond the arc. Reggie Miller, four of eight from beyond the arc. Mel Daniels had nine rebounds and three blocks. Uh, Kaysen Wallace had nine assists, which is elite, right on the top, you know, 14, 15 guys in the league average nine assists or more in this league. Um, yeah, no, no one else really did. I mean, other than, you know, Lucy and well, Adipa coming away with a pair of steals, but uh, Raptors, though, Kawhi dropped 30. <laughs> uh, big 30 piece. Tracy only missed one shot on the night. Had a double double with tennis and had multiple steals. Uh, you know, look at this stat line from Andrea Bargnani. I mean, seven rebounds, four assists from the center spot, three steals, three blocks, perfect from beyond the arc. Uh, Chris Bosch had eight rebounds off the bench. You know, Sotomayor had nine assists. Uh, everybody was clicking here, right? You know, steals and blocks. Everyone was getting just stuff in the stat sheets, right? I mean, four of five, three of five, three of four, two of three, perfect, right? All all this stuff, um, you know, worked out for them. And that actually kind of, kind of gets me. I kind of got to look at this like one more time because I'm sitting here thinking. If we got Chuck Persons, right? Sabonis could could be a like these guys. I mean, Sabonis could be a a, a power forward, right? And then small forward and then shooting guard, and then point guard, and then yeah, Case and Wallace at six four. He could really. Honestly, be a point guard. Um, you know, so you, so you get Lucy basically out of there, and then you get Victor Oladipo still in there. You got Danny Granger still in there, Jermaine O'Neal, but then you got Chuck. Like Danny Granger could easily be power forward at six nine, and then you got Chuck Person coming in. And shoot, you still got yeah Nedelicki or whatever his name is. So I mean, we might actually we let, we might actually make this switch for him because I think it's gonna help him. Honestly, I think we put, make him a small forward, make Reggie a shooting guard, uh, make Casey Wallace a point guard, makes a bonus power forward, right? Or even Mel Daniels become a better. Power, power forward. We'll keep him in center. He's, he's a good rebounder. He's actually a really good rebounder. Jermaine stays at power forward. And then you got, or actually, I mean, yeah, center. Ranger could, could be still, still a small forward even if you wanted because we still have Nitlicky or whatever his name is. And honestly, we could even really still put Chuck Persons there. And then you have these guys coming off the bench. I, I think this is what we do for them. And then we come out with this. We might actually solve their, their problem here. Bow. 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 Then we got... Then we, then we then we got actually eat eat hold up stay with me here. Lucy might actually be a better. I mean, he's third. How old is Victor Oladipo? Also thirty, so it really doesn't matter. Oh, uh, he drops significantly. We, we could do that. So, 
Okay, we keep him there. Okay, so. So now your bench, you, for, like your starting five doesn't really take a hit. Your bench actually gets a little bit better. Because you got. Who, who you got doing what? You got Jermaine O'Neal. Ranger still here. Chuck Person. Right? Then you have Lucy again. And so then you got these guys. Coming in. Give him the proper minutes he gets. Everybody's everybody's good, and then what you do? You change Boosie, the shooting guard, anyways, and you go to the bench, and now you got Mason Wallace, Chuck Person, Tremaine O'Neal. Now this is your bench. Now the the Pacers might actually, they're not they're not like they're not hold on, e, 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 they're not playing small ball right here, right? They actually got formidable people here, and then coming off the bench now you actually have a, a decent point guard, really solid point guard. Um, and you're still not playing small. You're still playing pretty big. So this is this is good for them, and then you still have depth at that. Don't get me wrong, Smith's thirty two. He's thirty. He's thirty. He's twenty nine. He's twenty nine. I mean, you know, we got some people that are getting up there in age, but really no no stress, you know, no sweat to it, right? Um, yeah, I think I like that lineup for them. That 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 could that could be beneficial for them. Uh, next, ooh, OKC and the Timberwolves. Both of these teams made it to the playoffs last season. The Timberwolves, super young, super athletic. Brandon Miller's only getting better for them. Uh, you know, this season um, didn't have the best luck in the draft, uh, drafted a guy who, um, well, I mean, he's got 91 overall potential, right? Uh, Thunder drafted a guy, though, Pat Bryant, who's got mad potential, I think, right here in this matchup, because he's still got some, some growing to do. Um, you know, they, they might have some, some growing pains, but then you gotta keep in mind, you know, you also have, uh, Sean Kemp and, and Spencer uh, Haywood and, and all of them coming off the bench. So you got plenty of big guy talent that Pat Bryant can learn from. But, I mean, keep in mind, bro, you got Westbrook, Harden, and Durant. They're buckets. Buckets. Um, but this Timberwolves team, man, is so athletic. KG holds it down, lets Kevin Love do his thing on the outside. Then you got Cat, big Cat coming off the bench. You know, you got a lot of moving parts uh, for the Timberwolves. You know, they're a very young team. I feel like they're only going to get better in the next couple seasons, so. Welcome, everybody, to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. Our broadcast team tonight, on go. one side, Greg Anthony. On the other yeah, side, they Steve Smith. Ball. And on the sideline, yeah, KG. I'm Kevin Holmes. We've got the Minnesota Timberwolves you know? facing the hmm. Oklahoma City Thunder. Well, that was in and out. And checking out Minnesota's yeah, opening line. Break. They've got Miller. Stephon Marbury. Kevin Love out there. I'll tell you this. In the Anthony playoffs, he was doing just that. And it's Marbury. But he was making. <laughs> and you could tell. He was shooting some crazy one-legged, fading threes to make them in the playoffs, man. It was wild. And so they face off against the Spurs team that played real defense. Um, they played real, real defense. Shot from 12. 
Ooh. Rebound, Minnesota. Man, Russ cannot get it going. Being you think he might want to pass out? I thought he had enough. Oh, that's Marbury from deep. That's a three. And showing he can make plays for left others. Edwards moving Russ didn't know where he was. She lost track of him in transition. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Asking for a triple stream. Not going to do anything. The pass to West Russ West. from deep, deep. And again, no At this point, you got to make the pass, my boy. And it's love with the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. You got to make the pass, and now they got Here's Marbury. It's a really good match. Oh, you don't want that. Oh, that. <laughs> shot clock at five. Shoot over oh, Harden. Harden. Edwards can't hit. And that's it. And now. Sure, what, what the D was doing there. These teams Clearly don't want to find their phones right. Can afford to give a guy like him <laughs> that good <a> look. <laughs> Russ, ooh, pass to Byers. Ooh, Kevin Love. This was lost in the sauce, dog. <laughs> he looked, he looked, and the ball went behind him. He was like, "What?" Kicks to Miller. Oh man. Hey, G. Let him eat. Oh, Charlie Byers playing big defense. He's, He's actually a key component. Turn him in make the playoffs last season. Just a little off to start you know, this Sean game. One size. for five, looking to find uh, some kind of rhythm. Garnett with a screen on Hart. I'm gonna say if he gets that to go. I got four. Oh, now he's got a mess with a screen on Hart. Oh, that's that's he's again. Uh, I thought he's seeing from Brian. I thought that was gonna be like some nasty. What, I think he thought that was going down. in. I sure did. Beyond the oh, arc, Hart. 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 in, in his mouth. If the defense lets him, Hart will do this all night. Oh my gosh. To the left, the, the three ball to the left for him is deadly, but in a man's mouth. Three balls in a man. And at a certain point, you just have to look to someone else to score for you. Yeah, Russ, has he scored a bucket? Yet? Is he like 0 of 5 here? Edwards fires hey, oh, wow. Look at that. That was the perfect stress here. You see this? Harden had to come from the outside guy. Yeah, and, you know, Byers was the one that dropped the ball there. The that was not hard. Awesome rewind, courtesy of the I don't even G have Russ bring it up here. Here we go. Let's get this ball in Durant's hands. Mm. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Oh, well, really? Well, okay, see, I'm not even sweating. Yeah, but they Russ being all. Boots. That's good. Russ being like 0 of 5. Is not going to miss and the game's still tied. Right That's a good sign. To the shooter. Oh. From deep heart. Oh. <laughs> the triple. Went Both right back at him. Perimeter oriented plays that are working. How Al Murray going to take it to the clubs. To Russell Westbrook. Oh, Kevin Love, though. Pat Ryan going to learn real quick. That's why you run it's these a big men in this league Kevin that will stretch it out. Because he can stretch you out. Westbrook with it. He's been patient so far. Oh, where is. Where was Anthony Edwards on the coverage there? Totally. Where was anybody? Hey, if you're not going to fight up in your deep trap downtown, the look he wants. He's about three blocks <laughs> down the road held up. Garnett, right side. Oh, he's going for something off the post here. Miller oh. outside. It would have been good if there was a little more urgency there. KD's the one he's lengthy. He can defend that. No if he would have hit now, that, though, City, after I said all away. that, and while we've got him on, I'd have had to retire. Oh, David Olden. David. David. Hey, Kevin, boy. He knew he was there was mismatches on the floor. It's actually pretty smart. This is the first meeting of these two teams, so he didn't know exactly what to expect. But he does know that he wants his guys Pretty to attack offensively. And he feels their success on that end will dictate their success to the game. So, guys, we can expect them to be aggressive from it's early the, on. Yeah, hit the ball right, out David, of front. We'll see if their stats will pay off. Break selling their efforts now. He just he, he can't hit the yeah, side of the barn. Yeah, I understand what they're trying to do here. Come out of the gates with some heat. And it forces your opponent's best scores to expand energy at the defensive end. Makes the strategy oh. a win-win. Oh, on James Harden. Go on James Harden. First two. That's his first foul. Usually that gets called in. Oh, it's an initial screen, so that's 
He must have really, really been sad. Love with the screen on KD. Down to five. Oh, look at that. Five. Like KD's right and there. Kevin but Love gets the three. Kevin Love don't care. Love's got six points. KD's One right the there. Oh, my goodness. Shooting big man we've ever seen. Kevin Love. Here's Harden. 18 mm. feet away and he knocks it down. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Here's Marbury. He's covered by Westbrook. Garnett, the screen. No one Ooh. near Edwards as he Ooh. lets it flop. And another three for Minnesota. Yeah, he seems to let Twelve three straight go. points off of three pointers. And the D. You got this OKC team, though. I mean, they're Bob arguably. Bryant, Ooh. And finish off by Bryant. And while his ability to score gets so arguably much attention. One of the best offensive teams in the league. why he's also. You know, I mean, he's got his buckets on the floor. Westbrook, oh, Harden, KD, oh, he's got six off the bench. He got buckets off the bench. You know, Gary Payton, Sean Kemp. Goes up Hamlet. on the top of the key. It's going to be a 24 Paul second George. shot clock violation. Yeah. They turn it over. A uh, different look for Oklahoma City. Paul's checked in for Bryant. And it's Payton in for Russell Westbrook. Speaking of Paul George, it looks like we're going to get. Here is Harden. Some substitutions. So yeah, Gary Payton and Paul George come in. We're okay. See, and then Christian Leitner, Paul Anthony Towns. It looks like the whole bench has come in. I also think PJ Paul. Hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Both teams putting forth their best efforts. See already. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. Timeout called. First of the game for Minnesota. So yeah, you got Bishop and Sims. Bishop outside. Two decent people that have uh, Here's been a good fusion of youth. From the and the Timberwolves. Got you got all Jimmy Butler, Christian Leitner, Cat out there. To pay more attention to Leitner, and then you got ooh, Ray Allen. The basket. Um, you got Sean Kent. You got uh, Here's Bishop. Shy Gilgis Alexander. Gary Payton. And PJ on. So shooting their first free throws here for the night. First one falls for. He's perfect from the line this time. Crispy from the line. And so Peyton will bring Close it up game. for Oklahoma City. He changes as well. Trailing by two. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Peyton. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Oh, look at Leitner playing the passing lanes. He baiting that. Here's Leitner. Until he was sitting there waiting on him. Now, Butler. Butler uh, feeling out of it. I feel like Towns, they had a mismatch the there. Division. I feel like he could have abused Sean Kent. You know what I'm Clock at four. So it is, this is really going to get you. Oh, oh, is it? Yes. Yeah, nice shot by Sims. Sims. No good. Sims is in his rookie season here. He asked a little too much for him. Ooh. He yeah, oh, I kind of like it. Bishop didn't fall for it, but I like what he was doing there. Here's Sims. He's still scoreless. Oh. Ray Allen getting that steal. Right Allen for three. Out of bounds. Look at that. So get it out of here. Minnesota. Inside, Towns. Oh, my. By Towns. He shredded him. Jimmy Butler understands the importance of sharing the ball with open guys. Paul passes to Gilgis Alexander. Campus Anybody watching, man? Nobody How's your Wednesday going? Hits the You're on YouTube ball. Thursday? And he's not going to miss those very often, even from deep. Let me know the comments, man. A little stronger on him. Sims, the best to Leitner. Over Kemp. Oh. 
Ooh. And the shot will not go from Leitner. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. Oh, he really going to hit. Oh, I'm about to say, he, he letting it all fly. You know what, though? They keep calling his he letting it all despite hang. the difficult quarter <laughs> he's had. That's not the match and the jumper falls for oh, him. Okay. Leitner's got correct. his second bucket. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to hit that consistently. Pass. Don't that. need to be a hero. I don't think he's capable of hitting that consistently. 151 left to play in the first quarter. Ooh, he's going to help the... I think it was really all he needed. Now Sims is trying to take it up, but yeah. That's Gary Clayton. Now, oh, here's hey, Bishop. Love right, right here. Stripped oh. away. He did. Oh. Like he got going now. He's gonna take it up on the small man. Green. In his mouth. Left in the first quarter of the game. Over his head. You know, like. <laughs> Here's Sims. Yeah. Oh man. No it looks like he, he want to be great. He don't. Here's Leitner. And that oh man. Christian right Leitner. One of the cases where height fails to tell you the whole story. Out here. Getting mad buckets. Okay. Leitner with the rebound. Minnesota leading by Leitner. three. In. Pass it to Sims. Here's Leitner. Oh, almost out of bounds. His footwork is crazy. Oh, P.J. Hall. Snatching it. Oh, if he had got that in transition. A big man to a big man. Ooh, after a complete block like that, a devastating soul-sucking block. That would have been crazy. Now it's a five-point Timberwolves lead. And you see Big Cat that has the size and coordination. Thunder down on five at home. Seven-second difference. Opening season. Peyton from outside. Peyton from three. And the Timberwolves. I'm playing safe, man. I play it safe. I just take Here's Sims. last second three. And go to the second quarter. Gary Payton. Hey, I applaud him. Personal foul. Personal foul. Personal foul. Personal foul. Trying to force the issue, especially with the young man. There's now he's in foul trouble. Now you got Paul George coming in. To the inside. The kick out to Tom. I don't know if that's the right. And again, Minnesota yeah, with the triple. And that's why I'd have to check. First overall, right. six eleven, six eleven, skill, a sweet shot, and unstoppable when he's on. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. Hey, Still, though, I mean, and I hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Only down five. The first half in this one. You guys, what do you think mm -hmm. about the offensive? Only down five at home. It's very home, doable. So Ooh, a one-point win. Got to see how that turned out. So down six at the half. They make it all back in the fourth and then clutch it out with the extra point. Abysmal numbers. Everybody must have been exhausted um, in that fourth quarter. But um, And really, look at these numbers overall. Just absolutely awful. Um, but the biggest differential you got to see is... is Okay, so he had 10 more free throw attempts. You know, so it ended up being four more total free throws made, and that is really all they needed. I mean, rebounds was the same, assists was the same. The Timberwolves even had the better bench. Um, but, you know, turnovers probably led to easy uh, transition points, which which led to fouls. They were able to capitalize on it. Um, Kevin Love, I mean, nobody would. 20 more points is what we consider at least scoring. Nobody with that stat line for him. So that's the problem. You see that. Uh, sure, they got a couple guys some good blocks and KG with 13 <laughs> rebounds, uh, which is impressive. But it basically stops there, right? Um, James Harden, though, able to get 23 points. Durant had multiple skills. Westbrook had multiple skills despite going you know, 4 of 16 overall and had 9 assists. Gary Payton had multiple steals. Charlie Byers had multiple steals. That's really about it for them, though. I mean, nothing, nothing really great. You know, Ray Allen had multiple steals. It's like, come on, one of five for me on the art, Ray Allen. One of six overall. And, and didn't he a starter? Did he foul out? What, what happened? But he's not a starter. He's not a starter. 
Okay, okay, but still. It's kind of wild, though. It's kind of, it's kind of wild, I feel like. Oh, Paul George coming in from deep off the bench. Okay. Okay, I see. I see. I see what's going on here. Okay. So Paul George coming in from that deep. Who's the, who's the shooting guard we got? Who's the backup shooting guard? Oh, it's shy. That's why. Okay. Oh, hey, they would pull that off a rookie. That's, that's a good, good sign for OKC. Not so much for the Timberwolves. This matchup right here. Oof. This is bound to be a good matchup, boy. We got John Wall, Gilbert Arenas, Bradley Bill, Wes Sunsell, and Elvin Hayes. This Wizards team does not play defense. Okay. They live and die on O. All right. That their their philosophy is we're gonna let you score, but we're gonna go down and score, and you're not gonna be able to stop us. Okay. We we just need you to miss a couple times, but you're not gonna be able to stop us. That's their philosophy. This Rockets team, on the other hand, whew. A very, very, very good team. Um, they were champions, not last season, but the season before. Um, and made it, made it to the, uh, had a good run in the West this, this last year. Um, again, Westbrook and Harden, right? Roland Dawkins has been good. Moses Malone and Akeem Olajuwon have been fantastic. And then off the bench, you got people like Yao Ming and Chris Paul and Steve Smith and, uh, a, a ton of people. So the Rockets are deep, deep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, opening you know, season opener at home. Uh, I'd have to say the advantage probably goes to the Rockets there. Welcome everyone to NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Hi folks, Brian Anderson here, alongside two fantastic analysts, and, uh, Grant the Hill, the and Chris Barry at the sliders. tables, and our reporter, Maybe. Allie LaForce. Probably. We've got the Washington Probably. Wizards facing look at the, the Houston look at the offensive Rockets. Rebound. And now the Washington Wizards starters. The hard work on the offensive class. You can see the coaching the staff rise rebound. up. Yeah. And I would not be surprised if you were to raise John Wall. Here's the Arenas. from downtown. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And I wouldn't be surprised if this game is 130, 140 points a piece. Got burned on that one. Now here's Harden. Count that bucket. I love it. James Harden shoots, he commits. And the contact isn't going to upset his mechanics. can't defend him on the And that was the mobile one drive. You really can't defend him on the perimeter. Low resistance to the finish line. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Attack into the loves being able to get loves being able to get to the line. And look at this. I mean, look at that. Look at the vision. That one's good. Harden's just left all alone. Nobody gets in transition. Yes, so much of it's an easy bucket for him. At the top of the key. But he can Wizards were the number two the seed oh, man. in the East last Are season. Are you serious? John Wall with the statement. Losing a seven-game series to the 76ers. And how about our 5G slam can? Good to capture that play in the Ooh. Harden misses. That's, that's the shot Harden looks and for. And Washington with possession. It's Beal on the wing. And they were the number two seed last season. Wall against Westbrook. And he took a first-round exit. So it's Here's a franchise, Arenas. fan base. Off target from three-point range. You know, the Wizards Pass to Harden. disappointed, to say the least. Uh, especially after the season before. First quarter, they just about two minutes in. To the finals. He's losing to the Rockets, actually. And you can um, He'll go the line with you know, a chance at a three-point play. They're ticked all around. Starting to find and they his beat. rhythm. He's cooking, Rockets. and he knows it. Yeah, right Season now, I don't see any road. let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot that on that gas. That they want to send to everybody. So we're here. Here's Wall. We're here to stay. And we're going to keep beating you on offense each and every day. Ooh. Pass to Arenas. Ooh. The free That's ball. A, it's got to be. Oh, wow. Kept alive oh, wow. But look at the offensive rebound. Ball, no good. Oh, can't punish the defense. Ball, oh, leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss. Oh, really steady jump shoot. He's consistent from out there. Killing him. Especially when you give him that kind of room. Shakes him. Stolen. Oh, it's a steal. To the inside. In transition. Harden's shot is good. Yeah. He has seven. 
Their ball yeah, movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean but open looks. Washington early, calls early. time out. We need to regroup. It's clear whatever they came out, the game plan to do, not work. <laughs> One thing is clear, it is that. <laughs> Oh, trying to be fancy. Westbrook is right there accidentally. And now again in transition. Getting killed. How the hustle game has been going for Houston. I'm going to visit here, man. Slow it down. Slow it down. Make the extra passes. Try to not take the good shots. They've done a great job tonight of getting out in transition. So that focus on fast break. You know, you're totally they're, they're trying hurry. to do too much here. They're trying to push it too much. Pass to Harden. Maybe slow it down. Calm it Here's down. Westbrook. God, please and take good shots. I know it's just so shoot, they don't constantly man, get killed and find nice themselves you know, with the insane on their heels in transition. I mean, look at this. Oh my goodness, again. Bitten off more they can chew, and now look at who. <laughs> if he would have hit that, that'd have been something. Really, I think they didn't even play defense on that. I think it, it, it just hit the tip. I think Harden hit it high enough. I think got the tips of Westbrook's hands. It didn't, it didn't really, couldn't bring it in. I, I don't think Wizards. I don't think it, you know John Wall might be anything. But I, Here's so. Arenas, defended by Harden. They need this. See, like, you have to it's hit John Wall. For them you have to take the extra pass, fall. hit John Wall for three. And it's the Rockets with the two. ball. So if you're the Wizards, you got to keep keep an eye on that. West Fix it as the season goes. It's a season open. From 13. Yes. And a nice it's just pay attention to this. we watch this on Hardy's film. Got three assists now you're going to know what to fix. And another great assist. Going forward, man. Make the extra really pass. Clicking now. And the Wizards call time here. Another time. Wizards. How many different iterations of the game plan did they have, right? Washington already with gone the ball. Two. It's a 16-point game. Leo, the pass to Wall. Let's see what they end up doing here. Now, lots they of good passing. Screen. And here's Hayes. Pass to Beal. Lots of movement on the shoot. outside. And there's the lob. Ooh. Oh, Finished off Taking nice, nice and good shots. A guy with That's a high percentage look right time. here. You can get that oop off. Westbrook with it. Now they're set on defense. They're, they're properly Outside matched on the right man. And he's off target with the three. Not getting absolutely scorched. James Harden isn't wide open on an island. And Actually getting a successful Westbrook possession. And now that Westbrook. That's his first foul of the game. The cookie jar. Here's Arenas. Drive kick, Defended and that's a bucket. That's no exactly what they got to do. You got to get Make out the on extra Beal. pass. He's just too dangerous as an outside get shooter. Get the threes. And it's Westbrook off the drive. Oh, and my. And it's off by Westbrook. Absolutely mixed them. the paint so far. That's been the difference. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there. It's just a physical play. Here's Here's Westbrook, and look at this. Oh, oh my he God. had the runway, oh, and he let it dunk ice. right on him. Oh, and he slams it down. Wow. Playing from He's behind. trying to send a message it's as well. Look at that. He chose a dunk with that high of difficulty yeah. rating. Yeah, no uh, question. That was a Russell Westbrook, bro. With plenty of swagger. There's some John Wall is just physically incapable of guarding. Challenges at the big guys. And so Westbrook nails Last both season, of them. nine point well, he gets eight. into a group the free free line very elite, last really. for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like so that. So far this season, we'll eight. 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 finished off by Hayes. But, I mean, well, oh, I guess yeah. when you got a, somebody that just can't wow, defend you, you might as well, right? Slam. Look at him. Oh, this is clearly their game plan. 
wall against so find the mismatch and just go and after it. And now, and look at this. Elijah Moore and so Westbrook with taking the, the shot from D. He's got nine. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. I mean, not wall with it. You know, Harden picks him up. Still stretched the floor. Here's a ring. Let's go. He's got five. Three pointer. Beal. Look at that, I love the extra pass. I love I'm not it. I'm sure. Bradley Beal has to be somewhere high up on the scouting report, and the defense lost. This is what they have to do. Hard to come out now. 20 points, 15 points. And here's Westbrook from the way down 10. Slowly digging in that. Westbrook's got 11 points. Westbrook. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. And not good at all. He's on another level right here, man. I would not be surprised if move. he drops Arenas. 30 tonight. And no good. And Houston will come the other way. Pass to Dawkins. Look at him. That's broken now off. Here's Harden. He's wide open. He's got seven. Oh, he would have hit him on that initially. They set a pick. Oh, John Wall can't. Yeah. John Wall can't defend Russell Westbrook. Only one Just one on one. Six shots. He's and you had screen as an obstacle. That pick and roll game is, is mad crazy. Oh, oh great extra pass! That's what I've been preaching. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. That's exactly what I've been preaching. Another one falls for Houston. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you Man, do it when you're out up in front. 14, Don't already 34 points scored. But like I said, I mean, hey, this Wizards team is not a play defense. All right, they play offense. Here's so far, Lajuan. offensively, 11 points in the game. They have Westbrook not been doing hit. so well, and, and you see them. They're, they, I told you, they live and die by the O. Now Wall. Here, oh, right. double screen for him. Pass Kick to Gill, perhaps. He's going to put that up, but this is a rough stretch right here for him He's offensively. He's predicting that entire series, and now no way. Oh, in his mouth. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Now, Gilbert Arenas is going cold. Hayes with a screen on Westbrook. John Wall driving kick, but no kick because they're picking it from his hands. Oh, Leal, though, that's a bucket. Beal has been really the only thing keeping them in this game. Beal's gone three for four He's got from the floor tonight. Nine points. Here's oh, look at this. Oh, so the help D has from been Elvin Hayes. That's what you need right there. Oh. Outside wall. Oh. Look at him mixing people up. Look at him mixing people up. Three second violation, I think. And he'll draw the foul. Oh, but he two. gets Elijah Wong caught up in the mix. And, the first. Wow. and it's a completely new group for the Rockets. Now we get basically a zone swap here. Uh, Ro Monroe, Philip Chenier. On both. Uh, Rulin all coming in for Here's Francis. Uh, the Wizards. Uh, and then for the Rockets, you got Steve Francis. You got, uh, did I say Steve Smith earlier? I think I did. Jalen Green, Tracy McGrady, Yao Ming. Particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game, you watch five minutes of play. Oh! You've seen Bradley Beal elevate his playmaking. What's Unsell? He's six seven. Years, and and when he played, he actually played as a center. Um, very undersized, but he got the job done. So you know, as a power forward, no problem. Bradley Beal is going to pick up getting up there, rolling down. First foul. Jack Mary, Ty Derrick. Um, Here's yeah, Jack Mary in for for the Wizards now. To the paint. So he's nice on self, isn't it? He's defended by Hayes, and the basket by Barrett. Go off the bench hey, here they're now. They're just getting pushed around inside. Now it's the Wizards kind of going out in transition. And here's Wizards going to 20 point lead. Pass to Francis. Still double digits at 11 points, but. They set the pick. It is starting to close. And a miss there on the triple. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up Chance to take the lead to single him. digits here. Too dangerous from the three point line. We've got 113 Three. left to play in the first oh, quarter. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, 
Come on, VA. I mean, where oh, is the that was crispy. Look at that sequence. Look at this sequence right here. Oh my goodness. Everything about this. Look at him off the screen, right? Off the screen. He's lost in the corner. Okay. Doesn't even pump fake because he doesn't need to. He's going. He's already got his man beat. You know, if he goes, Jalen Green's out. But then Elvin Hayes had no idea that there was a roll coming because he thinks the shot's coming as well. Jack Marin, the same guy that set the screen, bow, and then reverses it on him. Oh, that is sweet. Yeah, they got to do a much better job and help. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Feel that coming. That was a real razor right there. Immediate Good entry route. into the highlight reel. Ooh, what a tough VA. <laughs> It's showtime now, man. They built up a lead oh, and they're wow. starting to rub it in. They that have little no alley answer defensively play. inside. They're on a 13 to 5 run. Lead down to single digits, but the Rockets have a two for one opportunity here if they yep. push it and they do. And Houston, they can successfully defend here. They played with fantastic energy yeah, from the opening two. tip. So, yeah, you wondered if they would take some time to find their A game. Ooh. They did it at jump ball. They've been awesome. Today. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Chenier. The basket drops. Oh, and he got the bucket to go. One free throw coming his way. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. He's got to be able to successfully screen. The D's right on him. Have some confidence going into the rest of this game, and that's, that's he's wide right open yet. Mm. The tray. He's got seven. Only three he seconds left totally in the quarter, too. Relentless. Only increasing the Down 11. Gave up nearly 50 points in a quarter. It's kind of hard to win, giving up 50 points in a quarter. I'm saying Rockets are going to win this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 155 to 137. Uh, literally, phenomenal. They were just any shot they wanted to take, they were they were taking it and making it. Um, the bench did their thing. The bench actually led the charge. Really, um, I'm surprised that the assist differential is only one assist because the Wizards were not making that extra pass in the first quarter, seemingly at all, at least in the first part of the first quarter. Um, the rebounds is really what did them in here, those extra possessions. But, I mean, also just the look at the total number of threes. You know, yeah, the Wizards shot a higher clip, but the total numbers put up, again, because the Wizards weren't making that extra pass out. you got to make that pass out, man. you just got to. Um, Beal ends up with 30 on the night. Beal with 19, 10 assists, and two steals. John Wall with 13 and nine assists, and three steals, and Elvin Hayes with two steals and two blocks. You know, uh, rolling with two blocks. Uh, I mean, you know, people didn't do bad here other than Phil Schenier, one of seven. Um, you know, Roman Rowe, three of eight. So maybe on the bench they did kind of slip it down, but no one really did horrible here. But when you got a Kim giving you a 28 and McGrady giving you 28 off the bench and Harden giving you 22 and Westbrook giving you 21, four guys all putting up elite scoring numbers. And then on top of that, you got them both putting up elite assist numbers and then getting four steals in a game and just, you know, crazy stuff that they're doing here. And then when you, you know, look down through the bench, right, three of six, five for 16, four of six, four or five, like those guys didn't let it slip either. So, Let's see what else we got here. Okay, the Nuggets versus the Trailblazers. I'm actually excited to see this. The Trailblazers also playing small ball here. Which, which let's let's move this. Can we do the same thing with the Trailblazers that we did as well? I don't think we can. They're unfortunately cursed here. Yeah, 
they drafted some bumps. They didn't even keep. Dante Lawrence, though, he is going to be big for him. But he's really he's really it, right? So, I mean, yeah, you got Bill Walton. Because even if you move since the ball, the shooting guard. I mean, I guess, you know, you would have Percy and you still have Wicks and you still have Goodwin. Who do you have coming in at big, right? It's a bonus, you know? It just doesn't look very great for you, actually. Maybe you do have some bonus coming in, big. Let's, man, let's, I don't, I don't know why I'm just now, like, like, eyeballing this stuff in front of you guys, but. but let's, let's take a look here. Well, how does he actually go up? Oh, he's an inside the arc scorer. Interesting. Interesting. He's a two-way play shot. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. What about Damian Lillard? Oh, he, he, he goes down. Completely. Well, if he's better at power forward, then why don't we make him a power forward? I can guarantee you Rexer, he's playing everything. Since ball power forward. And then you still have. I, I like him better at shooting guard, to be honest. And then you have. I mean, it's a bonus at center. Right? You have Lawrence coming in at. Power forward at six ten, with with Bill Walton at six eleven, and then you and then you have we have Randolph. Six nine a little undersized. I say we play that. So you go, you go Randolph here. Essentially sensible. Comes down here. Fly goes here. Lawrence goes there. Right. Still keep Wicks here. Then you got. Right. Yeah, you still keep Wicks there. And you got Marcus Aldridge here. Oh wait, here. And then you got yeah, 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 yeah. And then you got some bonus here. And then you got McCollum, Jackson. Not Hershey. Hold on here. You got you got Kersey, not Hershey. I don't know why I said, <laughs> said that. You got Zach Randolph. And he gives the bonus his, his 20. So you got power forward, shooting guard, shooting guard. See, so we're gonna change that. Oh, one of these guys is gonna have to make it better. Oh, he goes up a small forward. My courtesy. Oh, he go up too. Okay. Well then, a point guard. Look at him, a point. Okay. So yeah, let's let's so we fixing problems out here. Lineups. To be honest, I think we keep sensible. Drexler, Lawrence, Petrie. I mean, 
fix of to bonus. And actually, Kersey comes in for Wix, and then you got that power forward, small forward, shooting guard. So these guys each get 14, 14, 20, 28. 28, 28, 28. So now your secondaries, Barry Carroll, Petrie, Kersey, Aldridge, it's a bonus. Which when you look at it, is already bigger. Because you got some bonus. I think I think I like that lineup for them. I think their future looks a lot better doing that lineup. I think we find out exactly how much better it looks. So Fat Lever, even though I know it's pronounced Lever, but you got to say Lever because come on, it's Fat Lever. David Thompson, Carmelo Anthony, Alex English, Nikola Jokic, the same starting five, and I think the only team to have the same starting five for the entire duration. But um, they're deep, man. They're, they're deep off the bench. Um, and then you got the Trailblazers, Dame, Sensiball, Drexler, Lawrence, Bill Walton. But then you know you got Petrie off the bench. You know you got Barry Carroll. Uh, you know, I think they'll start drafting some more big men. Uh, they need depth there. Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning into Two K. Uh, definitely gonna be excited to see. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. It's the Portland Trailblazers and the Denver Nuggets. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. Ooh. We've got Drexler. He did Aldridge that. He's out there with Damian Lillard. <laughs> and it's Lawrence. Opening it up forward. in the game. Okay. Lillard he don't need to warm up or nothing. Uh oh Off target from three-point range. And Anthony's got the ball here for Denver. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And, you know, David Thompson is used to getting fouled on the way up, the way this guy bounces. Embraces oh. every opportunity he can to get to the strike. Zero percent chance of taking that shot. That's wild. And he's good on the second. Mm. Lillard with it. Oh, did the Nuggets make the playoffs? I don't think the Nuggets did make the playoffs. They made a pitch they announced recently. Really they were old, man. They got a lot of old people. Looking to pull the trigger. They got a couple young guys. This is Miss Jokic. Feeds it the to the future. Actually, it's looking like it's going to be all right. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificed. Look at him going off the screen. Long two. Succeed in this and then Lillard will take that all day. Well, he he'll eat him up on the long two. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece they of should. their offense today. They should. He should be the that. centerpiece. Right on the bucket. Oh, wow. To the rack, making a I mean, look at the defense on this. On. Yeah, that's how he He's rolls. draped I mean, all over. Intimidate the opponent right now. And that oh, outstanding push. drive and finish brought to you Off by the Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. Now oh. here's Lillard. Oh. He has five. Oh. Walton a screen on Lee. Oh. On the stripe. And it's oh. Lillard missing. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. A three Anthony, right on Anthony's got five points so far. Yeah. This is how you want to start the ball game. Four for four from the field. Seems like they're right yeah. on point. Yeah, perfect four for four, I was going to say. There's the screen. Well, that's the rookie. Oh, he let it. Oh, 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 oh my. Yes. From long range, he was, going he was, that was a mega goal. fan. It looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. Oh, and English with the Alex stuff. English, though. He Alex looks tiny, but he, he does really play big. Right there to get that shot up and down through contact. Perfect. Oh. Finish to Lillard. On the top oh, of the key. Dang. Oh, telling him. Right, but drops in for him. Ten points for him. 
and he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get oh, back ooh, into it? Oh. He crisscrossed him, applesauced him, but couldn't make that the that extra pass to the corner. Don't know why. Some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Look, Lillard going to go back at him again. This is clearly their game plan. <laughs> Unable to get that one. Get and Lillard off the screen and have him Anthony, the just kill him. And that'll open now, the floor Jokic. for Russell, but Lillard can't be down here. I think uses the glass to finish the lane. Around the hoop, Nikola is deadly. Great touch from Jokic there. Lillard, the pass to Walt. Back to Lillard. Lillard kicks the bucket. Now he's got five field goals, five for eight in the game. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Jokic with the shooting on Lillard. He's got a man wide open, but he doesn't need it. Look, if I'm the coach, I'm preaching make the pass, but really, this early in the game, why not go for the dunk? 12 points Emphatically. for him. Walton a screen on Lever. Walton dishes the so You make the pass. Now they get used to that. They start raiding you for it. He going for the dunk. Just uh, okay. The shoot. Now they're really going to start to get off the shot. That. They don't want Fires that. It up. Thompson with the rebound. Denver leading by four. Especially knowing that they're playing Jokic small anyway. Right. Right. Oh, oh, yeah. So when you're killing them on the oops and the dunks and your crowd starting to get into it now. Mm -hmm. Passes it to Lillard. Yeah, he kind of is a little thick. Shot from the top of the key. Thick. And it's Denver with the rebound. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's, oh, that's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, it's a that's kick. shot he expects to make every time. <laughs> and that's and what's crazy. It's not the last thing. It's that low. It's really hand. And it opens up those drives. It opens up. And they're getting and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy. Start off Lillard. inside. And Walton throws it down. You know, as soon as Walton has the ball around the rim, he's thinking about flushing it. Now, Lever. Look, 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 watch. Pass to Anthony. Carmelo. And see, look, look. Look, it's, he's it's all the way. There. He's in the corner. With the so there is no help. Seven points. Right? Because he's in the corner. So is Alex English. Hold up, we'll play behind the arc. And that means for Melo Anthony to eat. Hey, ball. Kevin, I caught up with the Blazers, head coach. He's confident in their ability to win the battle of the low post. That's where he'd like to see most of the action take place. Kevin, I think we can expect them to pound the ball down low every chance they get. Let their big men go to work. All right, thank you, David. Oh, is he stretching the floor like that? Three off the line. Line. He you know, he's not a knockdown right shooter from there, but when you're he was wide, cover, wide open. You almost are forced you to take that. You got to make. I don't. I can't. I can't be mad at him. That one he was so wide open. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. You it's going to go on Bill Walton. That lever is not the biggest guard. That lever. I know it's big impact on the game that because that he plays with such intensity at both ends of the floor. <laughs> Again, getting the line, man. He's been oh. So far, so he picks up just one from the line. Not on the line. Trailblazers trail by ten. <laughs> At the line has been the weakest part of his game. At least he's been getting there. If he'd have hit that step back, hit him. Oh. Good. You know, this is why you run the offense uh, through Damian like, Lillard. Okay, I'm sure he's going to get him. his, but <laughs> he's also going to make sure others get theirs too. And yeah, now the floor is starting to open up for him. That's collected by Bill Walton. Lillard's starting to hit him, and now their offense starting to move a little bit more smoothly. Can they get that for multiple possessions in a row? Here's Lillard. Dude, I, he's I, got 12. I just like when Here's he gets Lawrence. the ball like that. And he's I'm just expecting him to let it flop. And so how do you gonna make that? Point uh, Bill closing out kind of, Clutch, but not make a wide, wide open. Impressive offensive production early on. Hey guys, this Rex is gonna be fun now. I mean, we've got mixed. <laughs> a shootout on tap here. It's helpless, Carmelo. It's one with the one ball shot. Ball for the Portland Trailblazers. Uh, uh, Tires for three. And and that that he gets that off. That's 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 crazy. the other way. I do love that he's helping. He's looking to shoot the three points in the game. Well, they realize Anthony, they know the mismatch they got and now. Oh, that oh one falls my. coming off Anthony's feet. They're just like floating. It's a nine-point nugget. Nice find that time from Carmelo. We know it's a score, but that time 
Did a good job contest. finding the open teammate. Look, and another screen. Set the oh, pick. oh. Here's Lillard. Again, like what? If you want to take that shot, take it off the rip. Don't wait for the dude to get back around the screen. Outside. Be able to I think this is on Damian Lillard just making a poor decision at this point. Shot clock at six. Lever against Lillard. Lever can't get it to go. Yeah, he missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm up. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and was maybe a step out mm. of his range. Now oh. here's Lillard. Oh, again. 12 points for him. Maybe really that was a bait. That he, that he's he made out six. there for me. Missed that first one on wide, wide open. Isn't a priority for them His right first now, game in the NBA, so they're thinking, okay, okay, let's tag off him. Now he's made with two, three, three. In the act of shooting, gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And, and the game plan is clear. Work the ball. Yeah, he's already. And it's working multiple for times. Like that initiative. We're going to see not Lee Swing, Barry Carroll, Petrie, Percy. So Portland ends up going with the new group. Sabonis and Aldridge. Here's Petrie. For the bigs. Outside Aldridge. Nuggets are going to make a swap as well. Aldridge with a screen on Lever. It's significantly smaller. by Aldridge. Aldridge is too strong to let a little now, bit of you contact got, uh, bother Wilson. him. I actually think he likes those so tough there, shots. Uh, look, these are pretty much all young guys. Jackson. Here is Udo. Udo, who they drafted last year, and he's actually pretty good. And Jeff Reese, and who they've drafted Denver, this year. No good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Strong move to the Nuggets, uh, drafted Andre Jeffries, 12th overall. So he's, he's going to have some, some expectations, especially as uh, David Thomas. Thompson gets take it a little upon themselves old. to step up, take the initiative and make something happen. Here's Petrie, following the basket by Van Lever. Aldridge with a screen on Lever. Softly drops in the floater. Boy, that was a sweet looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. But uh, yeah, Dante Lawrence I mean, for the Timberwolves, for, for the Trailblazers. Left to play in the first quarter. Arguably one of them. Better picks in this draft. I'd say range. probably top five well, yeah, pick in this draft. Like they draft him at number four. Kevin. I think he probably has true value. Just start probably the number four. Yeah, I like the way they're setting these He's got a lot really to bring with table. a lot of energy here at the start. And really, it's we'll been see a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Here's Jeffries. Yeah. He Ooh. clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. Just bangs it. And the Nuggets lead by five. Is it to Aldridge? Look, his second mm. shot goes in off to a good start, two for two. And they are attacking the crazy. The Blazers, so I thought were really small. And how? I mean, they're taking this they're defense. They're playing this. Pass, taking them to school. Every one of their last three really points. Sure, tell you who this is. Drinks in the train. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. For the Nuggets, I'm entirely sure. Pass to Kersey. There's the lob to Aldridge. And Aldridge slams it in. And I like you can't say though, Allen Iverson is win on offense, Him especially when he goes up after the they hour. definitely lost a step since the last season. Outside Jackson, you know, so you know, the just even and Jackson with the these guys the not being at that caliber. Jackson's fresh got a legs. couple of threes now in the first for Denver. Yeah. Pass to Kersen. That lever really taking over the game here. A big reason to have a monthly seven-point lead here. A beautiful Five reverse lead. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders. With but at 24, it's exactly. This could and probably should be the last shot taken. Weaver taking his time here. In the first quarter, Barry Carroll talking smack to him now. Pressing him. Mm, the to Udo. Udo, what do you know? Oh, if that had been able to go. It, it, you know, those are, those are the buckets you look at. Right. Good that time. Let's see if they can maintain their, <laughs> their lead. Yeah. Yeah, they did. A 22 point blowout. Uh, it only got worse. Was it was 10 points. And then <laughs> another six points. And then another six points. Uh, yeah. 
that just, uh, I mean, total game, 57% from beyond the arc is crazy, uh, <laughs> to say the least. Um, yeah, crazy to say the least. Uh, you know, they didn't even have to really get to the line. They just, everything that they took, <laughs> every shot they took, they made, um, bodied them on the boards, made the extra passes, their bench even buried them. Um, you know, a team that last year was not deep at all. This year, you know, had people contributing. So, Amy Lillard at 31 points, bro. Dude was definitely pushing the pace. No one else wanted to step up. And you're the second leading guy is a guy off the bench. You know, <laughs> probably not having a great night, right? And then your fourth scorer is another guy. Like, uh, probably not having a great night, right? Gary Carroll had 10 assists off the bench. Um, who knows, man? Maybe we try to bring him back into the lineup. You never know. Um, since the ball went three or four, Petrie didn't miss a single shot. You know, some of these guys, they, they were hitting buckets. was like, ooh, Clyde Drexler, one of seven. He's supposed to be the guy in this franchise. Um, but he still had nine assists. Just didn't even realize he was doing bad. But, yeah, he, he got to get buckets. He really got to get buckets. I mean, I can't blame a 22-point loss on him. Uh, but when everyone else is is doing pretty okay, I mean, it's a bonus. Yeah, and it's a bonus, really. <laughs> uh, Bad Lever had 23 points, 10 of them, though, in that first quarter. And had 10 assists, two seals, only one turnover. Mello had 20 points. Murray had 20 points off the bench. Jokic put a decent stat line across the board. Dante Jackson, uh, I believe, uh, new draft he uh, this season. I mean, you know, Alex English putting up buckets. Andre Jeffries only missed one shot on the night. So, you know, they're, they're looking forward to having him on the team, especially he's already outperforming the guy that he's expected to replace in, in a few years, you know, when, when David Thompson starts to get a little up there in age. Um, you know, yeah, Abdul Rauf, Rauf, whatever his name is. Um, yeah. Wow. Uh, What's it? What's he? Yeah. Udo, Diesel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Thompson getting eight rebounds. Those neat numbers. And then to do it from the shooting guard position. Kind of crazy. Ooh. Ooh, we got the Suns versus the Pelicans. The Suns were were in the Western, hold on, I mean, how, how, what? they made it to the NBA Finals this year um, and lost to the Bulls. Very talented team. James Naji, Pedro Saramago, inside, have been phenomenal, and Charles Barkley has actually been able to expand his game outside because of it. And the Suns team has, oof, been crazy the pelicans a team on paper that like you look at the youth the pure athleticism that these guys have chris paul in his prime peak uh beyond that even but they just have not been able to find success they've been a bottom of the half uh team in the league um you know this entire dynasty and even you know, years into it, they've only drafted one guy to come off the bench. Um, you know, other people who, who aren't really that great, they haven't had the, the best success when it comes to draft. So, even this season. Um... Hello out there. Get yeah, ready for this some season. NBA basketball on 2K Sports. They this is Brian drafted, Anderson uh... with Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke. Allie LaForce, our reporter. We'll see the right, New Orleans Pelicans and the Phoenix here. Suns. 
A look at the Pelicans starting group. Zion Williamson out there. Pelicans drafted number 13 overall. Well, they drafted Gene Hardaway. Uh, the defense has got to be there on the catch. He's got you know, he's got attention with that. But, you know, he's one of those guys that there's a whole lot known about him coming in the league. Yes. So, and it's Paul with the assist that time. You know, potential might be just really fun. These to, teams are trading you know, threes back and know. forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to oh, operate right. on the threes. offensive oh, that, end. Don't disrespect me. Dash misses. Chris Paul is no slouch on him. It's a little undersized, but no slouch. Got about a minute gone in the first quarter. You want to look at him clearing out. Outside Paul. They know Nash, not the best defender. Lays it up Ooh. and banks it in. Even with the hell of deep. Charles Paul's ability to work on the interior. Chris Paul, look at him. Crafty. Ooh. Few players his size have done take it. Contact too. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Nice yeah, teardrop the hard board. way, going right at the defense and making something out of nothing. Now the Suns trying to emulate it. Oh, takes the oh they're not. Mom. Comfort zone, two for two to start this one. Pick works well there, but the defense <laughs> left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Now here's Davis. Takes a three. Oh, and good. another three for New Orleans. There's one thing you can do. Shoot. School. Davis showing off his court sensibilities, hitting the open man right there. Anthony Davis. Yeah, yeah Anthony Davis, Zion Williamson. They got a. That three they got to play mark. big. Here's New Orleans now. You got to be the explosive, Here's athletic. Paul. Yeah, big that you know, they can be the first one. I mean, hey, if he's able to, Boy, they came ready to play. That's four get into the paint, get to those easy the buckets, why not? Pass to Booker. Look off the screen. I think he's pulling really out from beyond the arc. Points. Points. That would go. Booker's so got a had three. Well, just an three. He's caught up on the screen. Booker, but. Right? If you've got to get to the mid-range game to open up other aspects, do it. Here's Paul. Chris Paul. In. Three shots. He three up. Great efficiency so far. Impressive. Five straight makes. Love the play calling here. Checked by Davis. Gets a miss. Pass to Booker from deep. Oh, that step by. <laughs> Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. New Orleans in the lead. That way. Ingram, the pass to Paul. Splash, splashy. On Man, the wing, that. Davis. From outside the arc. Oh, he, he thought and about another it. Another three for New Orleans. Yeah, he thought right. Oh my goodness. They've come out hot. I mean, really they hot. They have yet to Perfect miss. From the field thus far. Pass to Naji. Oh, look and at the foul on Anthony Davis. Right. He his first double. foul of the game. Every time he gets the ball. Hey, bro, he's drawing it up. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Oh, Here's Nash. Oh. Checked by Davis. Oh, oh, oh. Goes up and lays oh, it in. Makes it easy. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential that's in terms good. of size. In there yet to miss a shot. Davis with a screen on Booker. And he's oh. going for the lob. Oh! oh. Finished <laughs> off by Davis. And you love how effortless Davis makes this look. Rising up for an alley oop like it's nothing. Oh my! The way he stepped out, like, oh, he going for a three. Here's oh, Nash. look at C oh, Nash. It's oh, it's block. Rebound. And it was there to play defense again. On offense, here are the Pelicans. Oh man, he said that back in the They're on a 17 to seven run. He packed that, shipped it, taped it, and everything. Oh, Williamson outside. And a foul call on the first way up. Technical so miss. He'll take two oh, from the free throw line. <laughs> There's really just no way miss. to match up with Zion, especially now that he can go to the right hand. Taking two shots. Williamson hits them both. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Pass to Yo, the Suns are playing the game they want to play right here. Let's play this double and let him whip it out. Let Sarah Mar was actually going to take that. On, and make it. Listen, even and now he's going to have people that shot. Defense three. must be better. Which is why we get Charles Barkley in on the block. It's on the wing, devastating. Davis. Because he definitely warrants a double every time. 
Outside Ingram. For three. Charles Barkley, though, no good that time. able to get there in time. A little hesitation by Brandon Ingram. Leads to uh, New Orleans' first miss of night. To the left wing. And if you're the Suns right here, oh, you're playing team that's only missed one do. shot on the night. You're only down three. You, hey, you, in your head, you're thinking, how long can I keep it up, though? Left you side, David. How long can I keep it up? Flying with a baseline jumper. I missed two well, shots in a row at that. It doesn't matter. He cannot answer the that bell. seems to be all you need to get <laughs> back into That's this. The and would have hit for. that. Right at the rim, just couldn't capitalize. Now if they get some drop. Pass to Ingram. Yeah, Zion Here's an eight-footer. Oh, wow. Shot. The Sun's trailing. And he goes over his right, which is his worst hand for third. Outside Booker. Now who do you have here? Najee. There's Najee. And Look at that. And one. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Play a team that had the chance to catch up on shot. some numbers here. The scoring breakdown six. for the Pelicans. They've done and a they great job of establishing an inside presence. Tied up. That'll open up more options offensively throughout the remainder of the game. So the other thing really that's gone pressure. exceptionally well for them the tonight is the shooting they've displayed from season. beyond the three-point arc. Able, no one allowed fewer points. Williamson with a screen on Suns. He pulls uh, it in from the elbow. Doesn't last, go in. Two for four in this the game. The Spurs were, I think, it's Phoenix's point, ball. one point behind them. They're rolling they're here. Category. Nine unanswered. Uh, statistically, they have no box for steals as well. Uh, Here's Nash. But well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll um, change. You love the anticipation they allowed, they made sure the best to box out, knew where the ball was going, and doesn't let anyone impede him from well, going into the glass. Look at how smooth Lost Ingram's shot is. Hot off the pass, so he puts up a silky jumper. That's tipped and stolen by Paul. And it's the Pelicans on the break. On the break. Ooh, he, and Davis gets it to go on the assist by Paul. Now it's a five up, point like New Orleans lead. Five point game. Yeah. When you make right your mid-range shots, you force your opponents to adjust. Oh, look at that steal. This is Zion. Well, if you're kind of, if he's a fancy dunk. Oh! Oh, Williamson throws <laughs> it down! Boy, it's incredible how many times Chris Paul has led the league in steals. This guy has active hands. And the Sun's going with a whole new group out there. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. Here's Kid. Pass to Marion. Here's Kid. Here's got Here. Defended by Hardaway. Kid Davis. the move on. And it's rejected. Johnson. Marion. Williamson outside. It's not a mind. Here's Howard. On the wing, Davis. Oh, up there for. Uh, Off target. That would have pushed the lead to the digits. Here's Kid. And they get it. Davis. That's good. Love to see that yeah. kind of activity. He just Davis. makes things happen. I don't know. Ball I don't outside. Know. Right wing. Alonzo Boston. In this line up here. Pass to Williamson. Back to ball. Oh! There's got the alley! Gene Hardaway. the best decision makers Very in the league. Alonzo with the right decision there. Here's Kid. He's looking for his first basket still in this one. Yeah, Howard Jed. Jed Howard. Off target at is. the rim. New Orleans in the lead. Here's oh, Williamson. A... And he's going to the line stopping. for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And he drops it first. At the line for the Pelicans. This point, Williamson hits them both. At this point, just leave him in there. The most supportive of me. Here's Kid. Pass to Davis. Oh, that pass. And the Suns get another three. Oh, to Davis. Well, the defense deserves to get burned. Absolutely no excuse hey, man, for the heat. They can score. They can shoot. Now, here is Howard. Oh, wow. It's good. And the assist that right time from Ball. <laughs> they are letting those threes fly from outside. Really in a great rhythm. There's the screen. Here's Marion. No good off the back of the rim. That Grab that one. I really don't think that he so is. far, they're getting a little out hustled on the boards. Here's Ball. Oh, look at that. Oh. Throws it down. 
Alonzo, very patient. They're not patient. wasting any time putting very their good. stamp really on this game. Oh, really. What a start. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Here's Stoudemire. Oh, Still that's... getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. <laughs> you know, we talk all the time Just about how important it is to have bigs who can stretch the floor. A Moses paid three. three. Now here's Ball. Posted up pocket. and faded. A spinning fade. From, uh, 149 three. left in the first. Pass to Marion. Here's Stoudemire. Here's Kidd. Clock at six. Here's Davis. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Now just a five-point Pelican lead. Runs up coming up. Honestly. Ball outside. And here's Howard. Not, the three. Not really Rebounded by much Johnson. Him, you know? His brother Romello is killing it. Point. Here's Kidd. Let's go with a three. Another Ooh. three for Phoenix. And this night already has the makings of an offensive war. Well, the fans love it. Coaches may not like the lack of defense, but boy, the rules promote scoring. No we got doubt. an opportunity here. Now here's Ball. So we go two for one. And Ball throws it down. Golly. And we have seen Ball add some muscle Just over the dunk. years yeah. so that he can power through that contact. Pass to Marion. You're right. We have seen him. That's a muscle. Here's Stoudemire. His game. Holy smokes. Now here's Johnson. Three pointer. That's the three ball to go. In his face. Anytime you leave this guy open, oh, man. he just got burned. Nine seconds Pelicans separating the shot the clock and game clock. Didn't miss a single Williamson. shot for the first five, six Spins. attempts. Here's ball. Phoenix and grabs the miss. Got the ball where he wanted. They could be going into the corner down. Swarmed. Right here. They really could. They could be going into the Here's corner down. Okay, they can go out and hang his eye on box kid up. Oh, uh, maybe not, though. That's just Stoudemire. Stoudemire. Oh, they, they found the mouse in the house. And he hit it from three earlier, but couldn't get that one to go. Still, though, only to only be up one after going six and six. You know, to start, you're on the road. I don't think they can keep it up. Oh, they do. They do. They get the dub. Wow. Okay. So, so he's back. So it's a two point game for the Suns. He goes back. It's a three point game for the Pelicans, and they just close it out. The second half was all there, shooting a phenomenal 78% from three uh, in that fourth quarter, which really brought their percentages up. Plus, on top of that, the extra rebounds, um, which is rare for the Suns to be out rebounded. Um, when you got a team that can put up 145 points on the Suns, you got a team. Okay. The Pelicans look like they're here to play this season. Uh, Arkney dropping 35 and eight rebounds. Absolutely elite. Book 27. Stoudemire with 20 off the bench. Giving it to him. Uh, Saramaga with two blocks. Johnson with two steals. Uh, now I got to see. <laughs> yeah, Steve Nash, 16 assists. You know, but Najee's usually, he's the rebounding guy. And he, he got five. But you expect him to come up with elite rebounding numbers, at least eight, nine rebounds for him. And that's probably, honestly, some of the difference there. I mean, you talk about a nine-point game. You can't blame it on. Three rebounds, right? I gotta go to the sun. I'm pretty sure when I did their thing. I could be wrong. Yeah, Charlie Scott, not Sean Hill. So why the fluff? Yeah, why the fluff was Marion out there? Not Scott in the lineup. Y'all see that? Yeah, yeah. Now I gotta see this one more time. Where, where was Charlie Scott? He did play his minutes. He did play his minutes. Maybe, I don't know. 
I don't know why they why he wasn't out there more. Why they didn't get him like that more? But hey, okay. Let's finish one more game that we have for the day, and that's the <laughs> the Kings versus the Jazz. This Jazz squad, man, Stockton and Maravich, you would think would be a super powerful duo, especially with Carl Malone. Uh, and Kirilenko in the post. But uh, they just haven't been. You know, Bill Kalabali, he's starting this season. So, you know, I got Adrian Dan- uh, Danley coming off the, the bench. But, yeah, they just, Pete Maravich and John Stockton, just not really meshing well together. Um, you know, crazy as it is to say, Kings... Though, on the other hand, I mean, you got Nate Archibald, you got De'Aaron Fox, you got Oscar Robertson, Jerry Lucas, Wayne Embry. And then, you know, off the bench, you got uh, people like Sabonis and Mitch Richmond and Eddie Johnson and and uh, Mike Bibby, I think. He, uh, <laughs> crazy talent off the bench. They haven't really been able to go, get to the playoffs either. So, both of these teams are teams that... Just trying to wonder to what they got to do to make things work. The NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and joining me, former NBA players Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson, and the award-winning David Aldridge is on our sideline. We've got the Utah oh, Jazz in the Sacramento Ooh, Kings. Good put the- oh, checking out wow. Utah's opening lineup. They've got Andre Karolinko. Andre Lucas is stuck and is out there with Meredith. And there's Malone. And he makes the bucket, and gets the whistle. Not going and now for a crazy point play chance here for shot. Him. First trip to the, the transition for him tonight. Instead passing and realizing they got the mouse in the house right there. They got a chance to get three the easy way. Find the lane. Find the lane. Oh, Carl Malone up the best. Free throw shooter. Free throw drops for Malone. Hey, but it's that one. Malone, a remarkable power forward. His footwork, incredible. And that jump shot is wet. Here's Archibald. Robertson outside. And let's the three fly. It's good. Ooh. He makes his first shot of the game. And he likes to get it in rip, huh? Nice triple. It's Think about this King scene. Yeah. And Archibald, the Aaron Fox, Oscar Robertson. Thanks, Kevin. I had a chance he to really catch got up with three Utah's point head coach. Right, He's people looking that play for with his that guys vision. to put up a terrific performance he should be, tonight. The ball should be whipping all around. Said, we want to use our you know, athleticism to they should be getting rim. open looks left and right. The defense should be convincing. This is the first meeting of the season between these two guys. We'll see how it comes out. Thank you, David. Ooh. Obviously, they feel that's the strategy but that will really, them. But really, I mean, they don't Kevin pass the ball a whole lot in their possessions. Especially early on. That can help change the complexion of the ref. Ooh. And that they get a little stacked. Defense establishes a that's kind of been their problem. Mentality. Guys have to work as a these unit. Three guys it's got a good mindset to get into early. early. Here is Robertson. After the basket keep by the Utah. Ball moving, man. Passes to Fox. There you go. Keep, keep passing it. Keep setting the screen. Keep, just keep redoing it. Because he's got the ability. The oh, they need offense they. from Fox at the point guard. His jump shot is a good weapon for them. Meanwhile, Jazz, but you got to succeed this season. He married with John Stockton. Stockton got to get on the same page here, man. He can't just feed Carl Malone. We're going to have to take shots. We're going to have to. Kicks it to Robertson. Set screens. Have to come off screens. Pass play to well Embry. off ball. Not stopping, you know, Six to I shoot. feel like hasn't taken enough shots. He marriage his problems. I think he takes too many shots, but he's trying to come. See? And it's Curling with the so, rebound. You know, he missed that like one. Stockton is scoring. Drill shots from that distance. That's when his team had his best. Oh, then even he, though he is capable of hitting that shot, I'd like really to see good. him work for a better look. He's in passing it, and everybody's better. Pete's passing. Stockton's scoring. That's when his team has the best. Maybe Pete needs to just Fox. come around and play the, you know, play the point. No Here's Malone. Ooh. And it's blocked. That's 
going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will retain possession. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And right said, out of the gate, oh. trying to <laughs> set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. Not today, buddy. So it's Utah now. Four point game. On the wing, Maravich. Malone is screen on Fox. Using that lateral quickness, Fox mm -hmm. is really tough to shake off as a defender. That doesn't fall. Can't drop his first shot. Ooh. Bangs home the trifecta. Fox has got five points so far. I'm going to say, he's going to push the pace with that pass. I'm like, that's better than around. Like, beat him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, Yikes. it's bad news for the defense. Mm -hmm. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Yeah, and in terms of size, not your typical center, but man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Now, here's oh, Fox. Wide open. Oh. He has Fox. Throws it from outside. A smooth looking three point shot. I think Fox is feeling it. Fox has gotten three of his five shots to go here. And the pass to Malone. Unloads from 13. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Let's do Embry. Hey, this is the opposite of the shootout we were just watching. Huh? Shoots over Malone. Embry can't get it to drop. That was a good look for him from mid range, but just couldn't make the defense pay. Stopped it outside. Oh, yeah, get, yeah, so get Malone in there. Oscar Robertson. Here's Malone. Again, oh, wow. Malone. I think he's fortunate to and have been able to defend that ball. one. Now the Aaron Fox blowing past everybody. Look at that extra pass. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, you better be whipping that rock. Giving it away to the guy who is ready to attack. Guys, they're looking for a that way to score here. That yeah, a you know what I'm saying? You gotta take the lid off. Slang it. Now here is Merrill. Oh wow! Scoreboard for him. Wayne Embry comes out of nowhere and then takes it post to post. This guy oh, has a pretty a little kind of fade teardrop combo there. Post fade there. Oh, look at that. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Oh, the ball. Give me something that Adrian Daly didn't really give me. That's awesome. Passes to Robertson. I think that's the too. box. From deep. The shot misses. And Hurts. Utah will come the other way. And passing presence really. Passes He's an extra high out there. He gets to Malone. More of a set. Kirilenko trying to break loose. Slash and Malone yeah. with the basket on the assist by Maravich. It's also pretty good. Cool. Malone's got 11 points. Well, Malone's well. gone and ice. Five of eight shooting from the floor. Here's Archibald. He's defended by Stockton. Oh, oh, oh. And here's the fast break. Malone Stockton. leading the way. Step back. Stockton's shot is off. Then he gets the with the ball. Stockton. Take that to the oh, 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 trying to get the yeah. foul. And not only does Jerry he get Lucas. all the way to the rim in traffic, the reverse. but goes to the reverse. You got to be really got a foul there, awesome. too. And that last look brought to it's you by the at and They weren't called for that. Now, here's Stockton. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Alone. That's good. Mm. A nice assist from Stockton. Looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. Here's Archibald. Mm. On the three off target. In the corner, it's Stockton. Nailed mm. from three-point land. <laughs> And the Jazz lead by three. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Yeah, so you got to keep on deep. And Maravich you know, pulls it down. One off ball and he didn't so. punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. This when they got bigs. Big Stop powerful bigs like the Maravich. Maravich. There's the triple. He said no screens all day. Oh, he cashes in on the second chance points. He is. I didn't even see that. Terrific opportunities for himself. I didn't even really made the most of it. Really see. Highlights called first of the game. Now I kind of want to go back to it.
Oh, oh, oh. E. Okay. Bounce is high. Wow. <laughs> I thought Robertson's coming down with that. Ah. The Kings trail by five. I ain't got the swap right, you got baby. The pass to Forrest and Johnson left side. Johnson, we got Boogie. Buries it from three point range. And there aren't many players more reliable from three point range than he is. Kings. Especially when the D's playing off him right there. Pretty deep, man. Pretty deep. Here's Flores. He's guarded by Williams. And the shot goes down. And from the mid range, Bibby, very consistent. You really can't give him that kind of space. And the this year, by Cousins. And drafted right Orlando Gonzalez, who pounding the glass. Most of watching those 50, 50 balls also. Summer camp. He wasn't really the one I cracked up. You know, here at the hustle uh, stats for kind of a waste of a lottery pick. So yes, me. Utah now. Sacramento making Whereas with the Jazz look. drafted and Sean Simmons. And As a three, so uh, you know, third pick, he honestly might be the, the second no best player in the thing. I think the only back. person better than him, really, uh, really truly, would be CJ Armstrong. With a screen for uh, the Hornets draft. Gets the bucket. But, uh, yeah, right Sean Simmons. Yeah, I love the competitive fire. Yeah, he's, he's somebody to keep an eye out. Watch him here. Look at that. Strong, firm pick. Another firm pick. And now, oh. <laughs> If he'd have got two of those crazy picks, roll like that, finish that loop on on a boogie. On deep three point range, Utah mm. with the rebound. That'd have been a statement right there. <laughs> hey, Utah boy. moving oh, it that. around. Look at him. And uh. Simmons gets it to go on the assist by Hayward. Yeah, he's a talent. Simmons got the sure. game tied up here for Utah. He is a talent. We've seen them struggle on the half court offense. I had a coach that once told me sometimes like guys though. just try to self will it. Taking it. Whether it's getting out on now, the court or scoring and now, court, even off ball, the guy said. You. And how about the shooting stroke? That's how that's that's bad he took it. He, he, he was still thinking about taking it. Williams looking oh, over switched. the floor. Right side Simmons. Well, they know they got Mouse in the house. They just got to work for it. Griffin. And he can't answer back. The three pointer offline. And here are the Kings now. They're on a 13 to 5 run. And Cousins Yikes. throws it down. You can just throw it on. Oh, Cousins will take care of the rest. Sometimes uh, it's just that easy. Simmons passes to Williams. Here's Dantley. Outside Simmons. Simmons, Simmons for Williams here. Pass He's going to go outside. Simmons oh, inside the line. Three Ooh, he for with two points. right there. Simmons got his second got bucket it. of the I'm night. I'm confident that even if it was three, would have matched. Impressive offensive production early on. You have to think Simmons, at this point, the winner will be the one to settle in on defense. Johnson, good. Yes. Those are starting to add up, guys. I hope their last five passes. Yeah, they definitely got some. Williams passes to Dantley. The dish to Hayward. Down low and stolen by Simmons. Maybe though, this is a bucket. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. Maybe super efficient. No time settling into I'm not office. saying he's a guaranteed bucket. Chance I'm just saying drill by eight. Like when he gets, like if he shoots it, it's going in. Pass to Williams. He, he might only have the arc. Six, six points a game. Three three for three. Williams has got six points. Six. And Williams three feels three. comfortable might be three pulling up four. from deep. Outstanding that just squared you himself know, the up and pulling you know. the trigger. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Bibby for three. The rebound by Dantley. Kicks it to Hayward. Hayward. Let's it Last go shot of the possession got or of the quarter. Yeah. Eight down five. On the road, I don't think they're gonna put that one up. And they don't. <laughs> Kings finish them off up 11. And really, uh, I mean, you know, the free throws are part of it for sure. But uh, 
the, the differential in three point attempts. I mean, look at this thing, man. <laughs> Almost 50 three point attempts for him versus the Jazz is 30. You know, uh, so it's like, yeah. <laughs> you know, the Jazz had more possessions, more rebounds, and everything. You know, Kings are just, hey, they were just taking it from three. <laughs> uh, you know, Oscar, Bibby, and Fox, 20 plus. Uh, and Oscar with nine rebounds. Um, Bibby, multiple seals, and look at him, eight for 10. <laughs> like, dude's efficient. Um, you know, Embry with nine rebounds, three steals, five blocks. Oof. Talk about a defensive player. Uh, you know, Jerry Lucas with nine rebounds as well. You know, uh, Nate Archibald with nine assists. And I think, yeah, the only two turnovers is really not bad. Maybe with seven assists and no turnovers off the bench, it's pretty, pretty dang good as well. And then you got the Jazz, you know, Pete Maravich with 20. Malone with 20 plus. Um, Pete with nine assists, Malone with 10 rebounds. You know, I mean, Stockton went four of eight, three of five from beyond the arc. But eight assists, three steals. You know, I think he's, I think he's got to get involved in the shooting more. I really do. I really do. Um, you know, but when you got guys like Karolinko going two of eight, you know, two of six, one of five, uh, oh of two, right? You know, that, that starts at the five. You know, uh, 11 point games get, get looked at by those guys. Who's going to work? Who's going to do something? So, you know, we're actually, like, I might do something crazy. Actually, with the Jazz. I might actually. He might actually. Shoot, he's 6 1, but. He's 6 1. He's honestly a really good defender. Let's see how it goes, you know? <laughs> Let's just let's just see how it goes. Uh, I'm not sure what the rip was. Yeah, we had Gordon Hayward, still thirty. Simmons, he's already ninety overall, twenty years old. Um, yeah, you know, Karolinko and you know, Carmelo at twenty eight. Sean Simmons might might see time in just a couple years. Oh, we got the Celtics and the Cavs. Celtics have already played, already up one. As you can see, Bird had 26 points. Michaela had nine rebounds. Tatum had 10 assists. Uh, so they're putting up elite numbers from their leaders. Um, you know, we'll see what they can do, can do here. Um, Cavs, the Celtics. Cavs. I don't know what, what, what went wrong with them last season? You, know, you got freaking LeBron James, Darius Garland, Kyrie Irving, you know, and then you got new guys like Cam Whitmore and Evan Mobley, and then you had people like Kevin Love and all that stuff coming off the bench. It, it should have been a pretty phenomenal team, but they just weren't. Um, Celtics, though, we know they're deep. I mean, you got Pussy, Tatum, Bird, Cowens. You know, you got uh, Bill Russell off the bench. You got KG. You got. Robert Parrish, you got Paul Pierce, you got freaking John Havlicek, uh, tons of guys, um, you know, off the bench that, I mean, Max Lewis, to be honest, isn't even as good as John Havlicek, but he's in the starting lineup. Welcome to Thursday Night Basketball on shoot. 2K Sports. Glad to have board. you along. Joined by Sorry, Hall of Famer right. Grant Hill. NBA champion Steve Smith the and our reporter Allie LaForce. You know, this is Brian Anderson. 
We'll see well, the Cleveland Cavaliers really really taking on the Boston inside. Celtics. A look at the Mark opening Lee. lineup for the Cleveland Mark Cavaliers. Lee. Kyrie Irving out there with Darius Garland. Then there's Mobley. Then there's LeBron James. The first good move in a long chess match between these coaching staffs. Strategy is going to be a big part of the outcome tonight. We'll LeBron. see which team Actually, dictates the style of play. Here's Cowens. That's to Bird. Oh, look at that. Sullivan look at Bird. Two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Foul. The first one falls. 50% so far. Season. game. And so he hits both. I'll tell you, he doesn't get points away. Excellent job from the line. Garland, the pass to James. Pulls it. Absolutely. Have an idea. Open shot is on the money. Coming off the pick, LeBron. You LeBron great James. composure. He knows what he wants, too. and that's the score. Pass to Lewis. Here's Bird. From outside, off the mark. Great rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't market. rely Mobley. on him to miss the LeBron, shots. why are you taking that? They get it back. And Mobley, why aren't you putting that back up? What? Garland for three. Am I missing something? Rebounded by the Celtics. That should have been easy pass to Mobley. Easy to pass. Outside Tatum. And then when he got the offensive rebound, he should have just put it right back up and over. Oh, and wow. The first Larry. Time, a minute and a half in. Oh, Larry Bird. Me and Larry Bird. Back in the day, someone would have blocked him out, but times have changed. And stands there. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Irving for three. Knocks it down from distance. Kyrie is a real menace. He's a talented marksman who can bury you with threes. Pass to Bird. Tatum against James. And it's Tatum missing. Garland with the ball. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a lot. And here's Mobley. Yes. Oh, this is a nice movie. assist from Garland. It's been a terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. We'll take possessions like that one all day. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Garland, the pass to Jane. Shoots over Tatum. The shot by James. No good. I mean, all period, it. period, it's been a struggle for him scoring the ball. Outside Tatum. Fires the three. Oh, maybe it's a pass for LeBron. Jeez. No good with the triple. It's the Cavs trailing. Mobley passes to Garland. Got Reed right here. Reed. Oh. Nice little session. Pass to James. Pretty well. Six to shoot. LeBron on the block. And it's oh. James with the jam. The raw power of James excels at taking on up, physical defense quick, and finishing. Yeah. Here's Bird. Mobley Very grabs the board. Putting up some wild shots. They're like, got no business Pass going in, Garland. but then they be looking like they should be going in, you know? <laughs> Mobley. Oh, a mouse in the house situation right here. Mobley pushing Pussy all over. Two. He's in his rhythm. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Started by Garland. Here's Lewis. The three is up. No way that Again, the miss by the Celtics. And here's James. And the lob oh, disrupted. Not to be. First of all, you tossed it. Thank you. Thank you. Out to the right wing. Pass to Bird. Launches it. Cavaliers with a rebound. 
It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Hounded by Tatum. Now, here is James. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Yeah, down earlier. Just James time. has got six points. Boy, Put absolutely touch on it. no rim protection leading to a lot of easy buckets. And Boston calls time here. Boston trailing. Pass to Bird. So far, fires for three. A Again, low scoring affair, Celtics. man. Nobody. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game oh, is. Wide, He's just wide a wide. little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. They're really settling into a nice rhythm now, starting to gain the upper hand. They're playing yeah, well. Celtics. They're building momentum. This is how they can LeBron turn a small lead out on into that. a big one. Shot they use the on him, but LeBron, yeah, he's not going to close that on that. Right back with their own <laughs> that was too deep. When you get faced up at one end, you want to get it back at the other. I like that he kind of slid up to try to them. respond. Those threes canceled each other out perfectly. Now, here is James. He has six. LeBron, I swear, be having wild to beat off threes. And man. there's a whistle. And ten to pass the ball. Got one on Tatum. Jimmy running really offense for no reason. You know? <laughs> This point he really sets where he plays. Is astonishing. That free throw, good from James. All well, for him to only average 17 points a game. You know? He does not get the second mm. one. So far, Miss. rebounding has been a focal point for them. Pass to Tatum. Celtics, number one seed in the East low. last and year. To finish it all. Eve, number oh, one beauty. seed. Oh, look at how Tatum surveys the whole nice floor. Year. That's how he spots the wide open man. Mobley on the screen. Darling yeah, for three. Took no the, good uh, exit courtesy of the other way. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. Here's Lewis. And Ooh. that one is hammered home. They've got a little better this what, year, I think. It's good uh, to be his age. Yeah. yeah. I don't have memories really like that at my age. Up so. there in age. <laughs> Here's Irving. I think it's going to be a <laughs> more impactful for him. And, uh, you know, more help for the middle. size it's situation. Bill uh, Russell coming off the bench. Four, I think it's going to be very useful it to for go. most. That makes it two, two for three in this game. He, the bus driver with the ball in his hand. Kyrie and, keeps uh, the defenders off balance. And, uh, he's going to be a bird from deep. I feel like he's going to be a the board. Well, he's got five rebounds in the game. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they dug this hole. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Pass to Lewis. Outside Tatum. Out to the wing. This one for three. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Woo! He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Garland finds Mobley. Tatum against James. Trying to go to work saying, Down to five on the shot clock. It's another three Aver, for Cleveland. Say, hey, Outstanding hey, long-range shooting here early. They already have going to work down low. Shots from it downtown. makes sense that he want to get there again. Pass to Tatum. Tatum, I don't, I don't blame him for that. Sagan. Oh, you got to hit Max Lewis in the corner. And the Celtics have another three. Or you can just hit Max Lewis. Long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs and each out. other. From range. They're trying to now this time. Now a timeout called by Cleveland. Both teams will make Celtics. substitutions. Closing that gap. Hands starting to get back into it. Pass to Russell. Now you get it. 
Why is guys off the bench for them? They got marked by the Celtics. That's how you want to see them crash to glass. They've been out hustled so far. A yeah, nice shot by Cowan. The when they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. The Cavaliers leading. I think you got Jeffrey Russell or something out there as well. Plus you got Chris Love um, off the bench as well. Pass to Price. Um, Five on the clock. Yeah. Wing shot on the way. It's rebounded by McHale. Missed opportunity. Uh, it's a makeable shot for him. He just can't Craig get it Ellis. to go. He's not even coming off the bench. Like he's, he's coming deep off the bench, you know? Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for Cleveland. For me, it's all about the paint. I like how they've utilized the post, looking to dump it down and capitalize when they see opportunities. It's paying off. <laughs> you know, Courtesy another LeBron, thing that has impressed me has been their numbers of points in the paint, just dominating down there. They're just getting whatever yeah, yeah, shot they like want Paul in close. Pierce. The Celtics Bill making Russell. a switch here. Russell is checked in. John Havlicek. Outside low. White. Here's Price. Here the Celtics. Count it. One for one to start the game. This is what the analytics prefer. Shots at the rim or from three. A minute 50 left in the first. Pass to Pierce. Here's Havlicek oh, from wow. behind the arc. He actually did, but Havlicek missed game. it. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Maybe? Oh, I was about to say. Austin Trailer. Impy Russell got it like that. Outside Russell. Out left to the wing. Pass to Pierce. So he was thought about pulling that for a second. Oh, oh have a check. Why didn't you pull it? The you had the space in my in. opinion. Outside low. That one missed on his head. One minute left in the first quarter. Now Boris Ward, oh, he's just forced out of bounds. The Cavaliers making a change here. Have a check. And now, on the screen. 58 seconds left to play in the first. Has to have a check. Ugly kind of green. Russell, a screen on love to the paint. And then Ooh. Russell with the dunk. One side of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Here's Ward. Let's it fly. Had some very Ooh. quick points for him on that possession. Right back at him. There's 39 seconds left in the first quarter. Oh, Pierce, they got a two for one here. Here's yeah, Pierce. The issue. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing Those yet on the scoreboard. Do exactly that. Oh! Boris Ward, they're going to send it back. And now break. Mark Price coming up the court. Yeah, he's going to take foul. that. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. The first free throw is good. Second one. So he picks up Ooh, just one from the line that time. So it's actually Russell to make out a little bit on that. This should be the last attempt in this quarter. They got a chance to tie it up. Yeah, there's the screen. Especially if you got have a check. Russell with great an emphatic dunk. Great timing. Oh, Only down play. one here. At the end of the quarter, can they rally back in front of their home crowd? Already 1 0 on a season. Yes, they can. 12 point margin of victory despite shooting horribly um, from three. And I know most people probably watching this thing are 39% is not horrible, but it is in this league. Um, they just held the Cavs to next to nothing. Uh, you know, they just play hard, gritty defense, man. Didn't mind sending them to the line, even. Um, you know, which, if you ask me, like Kyrie has 22, you know, LeBron 20 points, eight rebounds, eight assists on seven of 17, though. Two of six, like just passed the ball more. You know, there was op like opportunities where he should have and could have passed and he didn't. Um, it would have made people better for it. Mobley with a double double, multiple blocks, you know. Um, 
Garland with eight assists. Whitboard with nine rebounds. Uh, Boris Ward off the bench with <laughs> uh, eight rebounds, two blocks. You know, Kelly Shepard even putting up some points, but you know, that's that's not really it. You know, uh, Harry dropped twenty one on them, right? Uh, but other than that, it, I mean, Bill Russell had 17 off the bench. And this is what I'm talking about. He's probably more effective off the bench than he is at starter. Still putting up eight rebounds. Still had two steals. You know, last year he averaged over four blocks a game. This year you're getting none. It's kind of weird, but his one is. Max Lewis still had 12. Low shooting night for him, but LeBron was closing out like crazy. Um, Jason Tatum. The percentages. And apparently my wife is home. All right. I was losing her mind. Like they know she's not home all the time. Cowan's had 10 rebounds and four blocks <laughs> instead of Russell. Uh, so it looks like in this system, pretty much anyone can get four blocks. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, this is like surprising. No one really put on like, a super great stat line. They just happen to not be the worst team. It's weird to say. <laughs> um, very weird to say for them. Let's see who else we have. Uh, we have the Warriors and the Lakers. The Lakers have a ton of talent. But I think that that's going to do it for us tonight, man. I mean, it's already 7. Um, I will be streaming tomorrow, and we will be probably, I don't know, maybe playing Minecraft, maybe playing Rocket League. I'm not entirely sure yet. It'll just be whatever I feel like playing. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, make sure you guys tune in for that on Twitch. If you're seeing this on YouTube, uh for you guys know that that stream is actually happening now. Like, like as you guys are watching this, I'm actually streaming live on Twitch and that the link is in the description. You can go check me out. Um, you know, the 17,000 of you guys that are following me on YouTube, just, if you want to catch it live, just, just head over to Twitch. You can head over to Twitch and then you can still watch the clips on YouTube when they come up, you know, still be, still be all up in that. Um, but you know, just, just letting you know, you, you a day late, if not more on, on the tube. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, that's, that's going to do it for us. Uh, get out of here. Go have fun. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.